The first semi-final out of two, obviously, for W3IL. Second versus third place on Sunday. We're going to have a match between the first and fourth place. That's going to be UMAT Gaming versus Soviet War Elites from Sweden. And so we start with Oceanus versus Dust. The former champion wants to grow rise to glory again. And Dust Gaming, they felt very, very comfortable in the grand final of last season. Trying to go there again. And as I said before, Dust Gaming hasn't lost a single clan war this season. They didn't get too many points, but no one was able to beat them. True. The American boys, full of confidence last season, we heard it time and time again, how they were going to win W3AR. That did not quite work out, but here in... Uh... The next season, in this current season, there is another chance. But as we pointed out earlier, towards the beginning of this cast, one of their star players is missing. Cruncher is missing. So it's up to Hitman here to bring in the big points. Hitman and Cruncher are the two hard carries for their team. So there's, even if this is just the first match, a lot of pressure on Hitman already. He needs to win this. And ideally, he needs to win this 2-0. Yeah, because there is a system behind this clan war. And it is if you win your matches 2-0, and oh, you get three points. If you win your matches 2-1, and one, you get two points for your team. If you lose the match 1-2, to two, you get one point. If you uh, get defeated 0-2, then you get nada. So 2-0 victories are really important to claim the certain points. It is pretty much a best of uh, 15. So the first clan to get eight points wins and advances to the grand finals. Absolutely. We're of course hoping this is going to be a nice close affair, a 7 to 8 score at the end, but it could end more abruptly than that if someone gets to 8 points quickly. That can theoretically happen already after only 3 sub-matches if one team is on a serious roll. So as we correctly predicted, Kiwi Kaki with the Farseer first. Have we... Ever since he started playing again. Ever seen him with a Blade Master? I don't know, man. I can't remember. Maybe once or twice, but then it wasn't very successful, I guess. That's just the thing. Fasia, yeah. Headhunters, every matchup, all the same. Sometimes it's working well, sometimes it's not that well. And Hitman, the man of the thousand games didn't you look it up last week or something or this week how many games he did and how crazy it is ah yeah that was uh, i think two weeks ago on netties where he had uh across two accounts like 650 games <laughs> and the second closest professional player was uh like 400 games or something it was it was nuts he's a workhorse on the netty server on the American server and at some point he was top two in both W3 champions ladders, the European and the American one. So Hitman on the ladder, unstoppable. Oh, what will he do? Oh, not getting the last hit here. Prevents level two, not the greatest items for Kiwikaki, but tech wise there is a clear advantage for Hitman oh, since Kiwi didn't even start this yet. We all know Kiwi likes playing Farseer and Headhunters pretty much in every matchup. But what exact strategy is he going to play? We know what units, yes, but uh, is it going to be push timing, expansion, fast tech, or even tower pushes with Headhunters and Orgmer are kind of popular again. But it certainly doesn't seem to be a fast tech, as Tier 2 still hasn't started here for Kiwi. Hitman is almost through with it already. Blade Master with a triple circlet, level 2. Would love to steal the Ogre Magi right here. It's kind of obvious now that the Blade Master is here, reveals himself. The Grunt is in for the block. That was sweet. Speed scroll pop, but that kind of backfires. And Snare on the second headhunter. Hitman finding a good early game. Reveal now to make sure the Blade Master can't dive into anything once again. And we retreat. Three circlets for Hitman. Yeah, with that, he's uh, pretty well able to trade. Oh, I like the wolves here. Chasing after the opponent to cancel the heal cells. Very annoying. Oh. And also a little expensive. 
Shadow Hunter, Tower and Totem. When we were still broadcasting this uh, league, Kiwi didn't do any games for Oceanus, right? It was always um, the Europeans and Russians playing. Still no insup, but nice to have a Canadian in the Canadian uh, clan actually playing. Oh, what's happening here, dude? Peon's moving out. Ooh. Still no tech. Warmill. What it's, the hell, dude? It's time for those towers. What is up? And... Hitman hasn't scouted this yet. He's not exactly in the greatest position ever to defend this, because a lot of his grunts are hurt already, and he didn't have any more heal salves. Gets the sentry wards now, but if he scouts it now, perhaps it's too late. Shadow Hunter sees the peons in the main. Okay, that's a big tell. <laughs> if he actually did look at this... He skilled Hex first, so it's not like he went the... Uh, or he goes... Serpent wards because of this. Oh my god, he absolutely does not have the read. He's greedily going tier 3 tech against a tier 1 all-in. Oh, what? Yeah, pretty much expecting that... Uh, Kiwi would also go tier yeah. 3, I guess. Oh, that's a big problem. That's a hard counter right here. Late Master comes in, sees now in what kind of trouble he actually truly is. How can Hitman hold this? He's supply stuck. He has three grunts, one of them is hurt. Late Master is good, but not completely crazy. And Shadowhunter will run out of mana at some point. Speed scroll again. Say lightning close to a double kill. Hitman's micro is good, but these grunts are unusable for the foreseeable future. Oh, could easily send the wolves back in there to cancel the healing. That will probably not be an unwise play right now. Taking out the shop also comes with a lot of benefits. And it's all time for the towers. And three towers are standing. Taker would be proud. Oh boy. He's trying to get rid of these wolves that the heals have running. And Hitman defends it well. As he said, towers near the forest. And the shop is gone. The barracks will be gone. And Kiwi just leapfrogs forward. Oh. Farsi a little bit too far forward. Oh. And he blocks him in the base. Great mechanics once again by Hitman. He anticipates the invul potion holds position on the Blade Master. But it's a big invul. I don't know if he can actually stick around here. No, he can't hold this around. Did he drop to item pop him out of that position? I'm not sure what that was. Because, yeah, yes. Uh, uh, okay, whatever. I think it's a forbidden move, but... Anyway, didn't help him really. So he's not supply stuck at the moment. Another grunt falls though, and this just sheer mass of headhunters. There's no answer. Tier 3 now. But what can you do? Walkers? Okay. But there's no shop. You can't take advantage of, of this tier 3 at all. Yeah. Blade Master. Can you really carry this? I'm not so sure. <laughs> shop is about to. Defenses. Shop is about to be ready. Then there's potions. Hitman has a lot of gold. But that's like the only thing he really has. Yeah. No lumber. No supply available. And more towers. Five towers by Kiwi. Yo, that's a lot of towers. That's a handful of towers. Okay. It's time to chill. Time to heal. Time to regen a little. Orb of lightning. This could lead to quite some headhunter kills. But in the shadow of the tower, is that even, like, big? If he fights uh, uh, under the towers, like, he has to use a heal self for every kill he does. Oh, that's a lot of damage again towards the burrows. Shadow gets level 2, now he has heal wave. Okay, it's a bit more sustained for the blade master, but it's still such an overwhelming amount of damage, piercing damage. Kiwi fully embracing the meta, not just with units, but also with towers. Oh wow, R reveal now. One more heal wave, <clears throat> but... It's very oh, the potion is ready in a second! Gets out. This is gonna be such a big win for Oceanus. Cruncher not playing, Hitman not getting the 2-0. Big 
Master again finding a few kills, but these headhunters are cheap to replace. And if this borough falls, nothing can be made anymore for Hitman. No yeah. more walkers. <clears throat> Orb of Lightning is, of course, great for killing wolves, but just key BA clicking or right clicking at this point. Blade Master close to four for crit two. Ah, uh, what a game. Well, Hitman will certainly be scouting in map two. I can tell you yeah. that much. No production buildings anymore. 22 supply. And there we Did thought the age of orcs getting tower pushed was over, but I guess in orc mirror it still happens. <laughs> Sometimes. Hitman is getting quite some kills. Kiwi is still on tier one. This is impossible to win, isn't it? Maybe you can go mirror image. And then what? <laughs> Cast lightning shield on it? How's it taking damage, by the way? Is there a sentry here? No, right? Not sure. Okay, All level right. four. Big crit now. Full mana. You can't stay in there. It's always like two or three. But this is the last bit of repair, I guess. Oh my. All these peons solo. Damage is too high. It's too much. 160 crit. All right. Doesn't even need the... Oh. <laughs> Doesn't even need the Farseer in this. Almost no resources reveal. Zap! Oh, heal wave against it. But my Hitman has four peons and the heroes and that's it. GG. First point goes to Ocean is gaming. And that is such a big deal. Instead of a 2-0, which leads to a three-point advantage for Dust Gaming here, it's a max going to be a 2-1. So that's a big, big difference. Yeah, that uh, it's not three points for Hitman. Dust Gaming, are, are there favorites in the other matchups? We didn't really talk about it. Um... So long walk versus spiral depends on spiral, I guess, and a little bit on the ping. I mean, it's it's Europe, right? Mm, no, it's alternating servers. But long walk is living in Germany, right? That is correct. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Dude, I'm a little sleepy today. As uh, for that reason, he's also playing in the Meisterschaft. Yes. Ah. Yes. How could I yes. miss that? Um, side should be considered. Favorite against what? Uh, I'm seeing Hitman's uh, War 3 info uh, avatar picture the first time again in a while. <laughs> uh, always good for a smile. <laughs> okay, I have to show it now. Here, there on the left hand side, it is something's fucky. I remember the first time I saw that, I couldn't stop laughing on the stream. So, Hitman here surprisingly losing the first map. Perhaps he should have typed go go a little bit less and should have scouted a little bit more. Not to sound uh, unappreciative. I know Hitman's a very strong player, but especially when you are the stronger player and you know your opponent is prone to cheese, shouldn't you make sure like you're crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's? I don't think you have to cut so many corners to make sure, you know, every single grunt has 100% uptime and doesn't waste time scouting and stuff like that, you know? Yeah, that would have been smarter in hindsight. I guess Bidu uh, is a little furious about that as well. And ours of Team Sweden in chat already saying, ooh, this is going to be hard for Dust now. But Dust has been through a lot of miracles throughout the W3IL seasons. And of course... We all know how amazing their 2v2 is, Neo. Is that not right? Yeah, usually, yeah, that is a, like, Cruncher is part of the 2v2 two two as well, usually. Or Long Walk, but here they seed OC, so it's gonna be a lot of hunts. Hunts, headhunters, tower rush, I would not be surprised. Nah, yeah, me neither. Just a big mass against them. 
All right, they're, they're doing the vetoes at the moment. The, the past two encounters, by the way, were won by Dust. 10 to 5 and... What was it? 11 to 4. So pretty clear affairs back then. But that was in... Uh, that, uh, that long ago. That was June 7. Was the 10-5. But yeah, the difference a cruncher can make. But Hitman and uh, OC, they played against Oceans in the regular season as well. And they defeated them 2-0. So yeah, 2-2, two two, definitely a thing. Thank you, by the way, Jonathan L. Seagull for the 100 bits. And Mass Bash for the 418 bits. Thank, Thank you, guys, guys, for the support. So we go on to Twisted. And the game will be hosted soon. How warm is it in your apartment, by the way? It feels like 70 degrees. Yeah, it feels like a sauna in here. <sighs> it's not even really warm yet, dude. Yeah. Can't wait for those 40 bombs. Oh, yeah. I had some ice cream before the cast started. I thought maybe that helps. Not really. Nope. What kind of ice cream you have? I had a Kit Kat ice cream. Kit not Kat sponsored. ice cream? Yeah. Is it like one of those... Ones that is wrapped in a little wrapper and looks like a candy bar? Nope. It pretty much looks like a Magnum, but with Kit Kat chunks mm. around it. Was it good? Was it, was it good? Was okay. it Okay. I was a little disappointed, to be honest. Are you one of those guys who loves cookie dough ice cream? Yeah. And that, well, what is love? Uh, is the Really, question. really, really like. I like it, yes. A friend of mine is obsessed with his Ben and Jerry's. Mm. cookie dough i think mm. some ben and jerry's i think it's ben and jerry's cookie dough and uh, he always goes to this one supermarket which is far away from his place because this is apparently the only supermarket that has that kind of ben and jerry's flavor <laughs> the special cookie dough with the big bits inside and it's like it's these little uh buckets it's it's not it doesn't seem proper to call them buckets but i think that's what they're called mm. they're really small and they're like five euros or something. Yeah, it's super expensive. Thing. Yeah, one time he made me taste it, uh, you know, because he wanted to basically uh, gather me for the cause of how amazing it is. And I tried it. I was like, yeah, it's okay. And then he almost started screaming at me. <laughs> <laughs> like I you mean, when, I... I, when I told you that I like white chocolate? Oh, Jesus Christ. Don't get me started, dude. I'm really no, not much of an ice cream guy. I, nah, I'm really not. There is a, like a rip-off of Ben & Jerry's that costs maybe two euros instead of five and tastes the exact same. Just gotta does it be taste smart. the exact same or does it taste the same like people say Nutoka tastes like Nutella? Never ever. Who says that? A Let's lot of lynch people. this guy. Ah, See, ah, 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 a lot ah, of people. Ah, I a lot, won't allow a lot that. of people say it tastes Rimo, exactly the same. Rimo, and... grab your pitchfork, grab your <laughs> candle thingy. What's it called? Thingy, what? like to light things on fire with. Torch. Torch, torch, <laughs> and pitchfork, candle. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, and then we go. Let's let's get this man. Yeah, you know, there's there's certain things I also agree. Like you can save money. You don't need to buy the the expensive stuff. But Nutella. Boys, there's only one good thing, and that is the Nutella. Fuck all the rest. And toothpaste. Don't go cheap on toothpaste, dude. You're going to regret it, especially if you're me, because I brush my teeth 15 minutes at a time. And he has to get this one specific uh, brand of toothpaste. Yeah. And one, one time, time he I fo forgot it <laughs> when I was going to China. Worst trip of my life. Yeah, seriously, you were in a bad mood for the entire trip. Every morning, something is off. Something is off. That's not right. It's rough, dude. I know. Man. I need the extra fresh, extra spicy toothpaste where it, it, it almost hurts the tongue a little bit. You don't get to get that uh, extra prickly feeling going. Yeah, you know? It's pretty much just mint. Yeah. I'm a hardcore boy, as you know, Neil. I know. Let's go, map number two. Match points for Kiwi Kaki. And we are on Twisted. Torch. 
How could I forget the word torch? Anyway. Um, we got Kiwi in the bottom left. We got Hitman in the upper right. And one of these players is going for the Golem trick. Let me guess. It's not Kiwi. Ah, ding, 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 ding. You win. What do we win? Uh, gummy points. Gummy points. Can I trade them for gummy bears? No, you can trade them for an inflatable washing machine. Heck yeah, bro. <laughs> it's what I always dreamed of. I, I know. <laughs> you gotta grind some gummy points before that, though. It's pretty expensive. Anyway, we have the same matchup. We got Farsia versus Blade. We're gonna have Kiwi starting off with... Once again, the Headhunter build. Is he going to be going for <clears throat> a tower push again on this map? A big map? Perhaps a little bit harder to pull off, but also harder for Mr. Hitman to scout, of course. And scouting was the big issue on map number one. Thank you, Waxtrats, with a three month resub. Simon Micha. Simon Micha with a sub. And Cartress with a $10. On the topic of Kit Kats. One of my corner stores here in Boston says Kit Kats made in Germany. So much tastier than the ones manufactured here, as always. Thank you for the fantastic broadcast. Germany that, represent. That's very nice of you to say, man. Thank you. Thank you. What, what kind of special delicacy back. store do you have that you buy candy bars, that you import candy bars? From? Yeah, right? Just gotta be... Oh, oh trying oh, to be oh, special. Oh, oh my oh. god, it almost didn't work. That was on... The brick. So, not deny it. Now and then everything is fine. We've seen this fail plenty of times recently. Pulls all the peons out, gets it, rope of the Magi, not too bad, but here comes Kiwi for the harass. Since we're on the topic, topic of Kit Kats, did you know that by far the country where Kit Kats get consumed the most is Japan? Yes, and they have uh, like wasabi Kit Kat and stuff. They have very. Yeah. They have a lot of variety in their Kit Kats. But do you know why that is? Why they eat so much Kit Kat? Oh, no. I feel Kit like Kat or Kit Kat sounds apparently Please very similar to the attacking. Japanese version of, I think it was thank you or something. So when you want to thank somebody, um, you give them a Kit Kat. Oh. They tried that with Messi here, right? But apparently didn't Wait. work as well as in Japan. Which one is Merci again? That's the one with all the different ones uh, yeah. in the big yeah. package, right? Yeah. Not as handy, I guess. Yeah, Merci is always like a box of chocolates. Mm. Like, I mean, it literally is, but also like the old school ones, mm -hmm. where some of them are good and mm -hmm. some of them are shit. Yeah, coffee, man. Blah. What? You like coffee? Attack. Yeah, but I don't like chocolate coffee. Yeah, coffee or, chocolate? Or marzipan. I hate that shit, but I, I think... I like that. I think in you like it. Yeah, but not like too much. If there's a little bit in it, it's fine. But if it's pretty much 99% marzipan and like a little chocolate on top, that's disgusting. Yeah. <clears throat> like the marzipan I bread. I don't like it at all. Do you like nougat? Mm, it's okay. I fucking love nougat, dude. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. As you know, I love all things with nuts. <laughs> 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 So we have a Berserker here, nice and early for Hitman. I think he wanted, ideally, to creep the Merc Camp as well, but Kiwi was on the heels. Always something you want to prevent an Orc from doing, especially if he's playing Blade Master Standard, is, uh, you know, getting that Merc Camp too easily. Dude, there's a fly in my room. I'm about to go ballistic and fucking detonate this whole building. <laughs> okay, you seem rather imbalanced at the moment, man. It's the fly. Yeah, you should do some yoga to balance it out, you know? Mm -hmm. Yin and yang and all that stuff. Blade Master comes in. He knows about balance. He knows about yin and yang and he kills that pet hunter. So Hitman seeking for revenge. This is this time a tier 2 tech by Kiwikaki. So no tower rush. Uh, again. Not with a fire lord or something. Blade Master gets level 2. And man, is he shredding through this army of headhunters. Yeah, this early game is... I'm liking much more for it, man. Get a level 2, be aggressive, because until the headhunters have he really high numbers, it turns out you can pressure them pretty well. Mm -hmm. Farseer yeah. has no way of healing them. 
no way of locking down your units. And that's a rough early right here for Mr. Kiwi. Somehow Hitman feels angry when I see this this bloodthirsty. Let's see. Tier 3 again with a totem. No beast to read. And the Shadow Hunter as a second hero. So I guess Kiwi's going. Oh, Kiwi's staying tier two for now. Beastery TC. Forces are under attack. Okay. All right. Shadow coming out. Healing up everything, but once again the wolves looking for the cancel of the heal. Blade Master finds another kill. Man, he killed a lot of headhunters already. He got level 2 in K Kibikaki's base, and now he's level 2.7 without taking an additional uh, creep camp. That shows you how many losses he had to suffer through here. Attack. But Hitman's not willing to finish this at the moment, <laughs> waiting for the tier 3 to pay off. Is that his normal orc mirror build? What do you mean? Skipping the beastery goal tier three. Ah. Um, I would assume it usually depends on scouting and stuff, but it has certainly been seen in orc mirror a little bit. When we see it on netties, oftentimes it gets punished really hard, but not necessarily all the time. Or and who the... doesn't want to play triple hero with all of lightning, man? <laughs> Super Pog. <laughs> right? What? I, I I was zoning out there for a second. Ah, your internet connection again, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's because of all these storms. Yeah. I thought Crazy. it wasn't stormy. No, it's your place. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. It's crazy. Double robe of the Magi. Oh, That's a lot of mana. Hand over there. Alright, how can Kiwi get back into this? Without tier 3, without mass, without a hero... I don't know, that... Like a naga that can pick up three to four units and then snowball. It's gonna be rough. Blade is just lurking. Oh, gets revealed before. And there's Storm. This should Aww. never be a steal. Oh, shouldn't it? Doesn't get the item, but got the last. Wait, he did get the item? Wait, no? <laughs> I'm so confused. Ah, the Farseer has. <laughs> Doink. And Shadow Hunter level three. Also, tier three reached for Hitman. TC is out. Time for the orb. And since we're in Twisted Meadows, there's a ton of camps still left to creep for the TC. Yes, he got the orb as the well. Forces are under attack. Kiwi struggles with levels, that's for sure. TC only level two. Crystal Ball might be nice to see Hitman coming. And I guess we don't want a tiny great hall. We don't want many more creep spots. We just want to end this. Oh, I'm not sure if we saw him. He yeah, I don't, think so. I don't think so. Uh, maybe from close. Oh, seeing this camp away here from Hitman, also not too bad. Almost everything here is nice. Rune Bracers is bad. I think everything else is good, right? Flute? That's fine. That's uh, okay. I think he's, he's uh, really, really happy with the 500 mana Shadow Hunter. Good scout by Kiwi. TC solo. His hopes are with the level 2 storm. He's gonna get the level up here in a second. Claws plus 9 for him. Doesn't really have the proper hero for this. Oh, and the Kodo getting found in the main. That hurts. Yeah. 100 crit, life and seer, TP forced. 
So with all the peons as Meat Shield, he's jumping right on top of him. Blade Master's kind of trapped, but has enough mana. Hex against the Stomp. That was sweet, getting stomped himself. Heal wave against the Focus Fire, but this Walker falls after a lot of damage. It seems like Kiwi holds this. And man falling back, didn't even have 50 supply in this fight, perhaps a little too eager. Now aiming for the TC, that could oh. be a Hex at the perfect time. Sick. Well, and like that, he's just dead. Level 2 TC, there's still a heal scroll, there's still an invul, there's still 260 mana. Oi, 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 oi. Not good. Quite a few raiders here dying as well. Only had hundreds left against Orb of Lightning. That number can dwindle quickly. Who needs Hex when you got the Purge? Uh, Ensnare, I mean. Who needs Ensnare, Ensnare when you got the Purge? Purge gamers! Absolutely correct. More and more kills close to level 4. Thank you, Nohiro Masuda, for gifting a sub to Duro. Oh. You wonderful, wonderful people, both of you. Raider returns, has one Ensnare. Man, this gun with Spirtling is pretty tacky, though. Yep. Taking a while to take out. The trolls Hexed. trying to throw Focused. their toothpicks at them, but it doesn't matter. GG, 1-1. One, one. All right. Hitman this time doesn't allow himself to be uh, rolled by this nonsensical uh, strat with, T uh, with Farseer Headhunters. And now it's looking kind of rough for Kiwi. Seems like the jig is up. Seems like Hitman knows what he has to do. And the favorite here does come back strong into this sub-match. But, you know, even if Hitman wins here 2-1, I think Kiwi can be pretty satisfied if it should end there. But he's going to have another chance for another map win on our next map. Yeah, that, that would be a debacle for Dust if Hitman loses his series. This is almost never allowed to happen, otherwise they are out. He is their carry, he's their star player, that's for sure. But tonight, they need more than that. They might need a long walk in tip-top shape. They might need a hunter. Yeah, hunter, at least on ladder, he's not looking too bad recently. Ladder is, of course, only ladder. But <laughs> considering that side also in the tournaments, most recently, hasn't been looking that good. Maybe that's a closer game than we think. Question is, is he going to be ready for the gargoyles? Because uh, <laughs> I think that is what we're going to be seeing. So, oh, the vetoes are already done. Okay. Well, it shouldn't surprise me that Hitman was pretty quick to give that answer. He probably wants to go, go, go in the next game. I mean, the maps were determined after... Map 2, I guess. Doesn't it normally go like uh, out of the first map the guy gives two vetoes and after the second map the other guy gives two vetoes? Oh yeah, that might be right. Cool. That's how I remember it. When I was playing W3 El Neo. Oh, when I glorious. got my impressive 2-8 two, two, map score or something. Ah, that was the <laughs> wonderful game against Cash. I got that, like, I would love to hang that game on Ancient Isles back then. Ancient Isles, on, yeah. On my wall. I oh. mean, if it had been on a good map, right? I mean, I would have done much better, of course. Well, what was the second map in that best of three? Uh, it's not really relevant, is it now? <laughs> it, was rock, real, probably. it was real fun seeing you getting destroyed. Yeah, it was really fun to play against Speed Scroll Zappers. Oh boy, how I miss those days. <laughs> Cash made you look really, really bad. <laughs> and uh, you are wrong, by the way. Hitman is not the one going for the go, 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 go. We're waiting for him. Yeah. Uh, As Neutron uh... called him, the little shit kid. <laughs> Quite unusual. This fly is still buzzing around in here. Have, have we seen it on the webcam already, Chad? Have you seen the fly? I didn't see The little, little terrorist ruining my day. 
Why didn't you catch it if it's the entire day? All you need is two fingers and a little bit of patience. Who am I? Freaking Mr. Miyagi? You can't do that? It's very easy. You can catch a fly with your fingers. Easy. Dude, you oftentimes have trouble holding your lighter because you're shaking so much. How, do you, how are you going to catch a fly? <laughs> what? Because I'm shaking so much? Yeah, you have shaky hands. <laughs> yes, absolutely, it's true, and you know it. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on. C8! So is it going to be the faster headhunter strat again? Looks different, right? At least in harassing fast, yeah, not early headhunters. Oh my god, he's going to make a barracks. Oh my god, Kiwi Kaki's making a barracks before Warm Mill. What is going on here? Yeah. Is he legit playing Blade Master? No. My lordy. Shadow Hunter first? Everything else, like even TC first, everything else would be more reasonable, I guess. Thank you, OC, for the 11 month resub. Much love. Thank you, dude. Okay. Fastier again. <laughs> And there I thought the world was going to fall apart for a second. Well, we're getting close, but no, It was going to be like the movie 2012, <laughs> where the Statue of Liberty freezes over. Dude, in 2012, the biggest issue with the world was, are the Mayas right or not? Yeah. Now. Aye, aye, aye. Well, there was another big personal issue for me, because a good friend of mine back then told me, Remo, you have to watch this movie. It's so amazing. It might be my favorite movie of all time. That is what he said about the movie 2012. <laughs> After which, I stopped talking to him. Oh, no, I didn't. I still talked to him, but I definitely <laughs> lost quite some respect in his taste. Not in him as a person. Who was? Do I know him? And uh, No. Huh. It's Mr. Kenan Bro from Kosovo. Ah, I don't know. Also likes all the Marvel movies, by the way. In case you ah, very exquisite taste in... Yes. Movies, very nuanced. So what's the reason it's going grunts here, man? Just changing things up? Or is there... Is there an actual reason? I mean, his headhunters were kind of getting destroyed by a Blade Master oh, last map, so it does attack. make sense. Theoretically, if your name is not Kiwi Kaki. But... Why is he not still playing Headhunters? That's, uh, that's the real question here. I mean, he also plays against human. It's not like it's that good against human. Yeah, I agree. He doesn't really care if it's good or bad on paper as long as he hits timing windows. Then it can work somehow. But all right. Makes Hitman's life a little harder Please to gather experience solo attack. with the blade. And tier 2 tech on both sides. Oh, right. The movie with the frozen Statue of Liberty. There was uh, the day after tomorrow, not 2012. What happens the day after tomorrow? It's like the axis of the world tilts or something. And then it's Ice Age again. Yeah. Ah, that was a great movie also. Such a good movie. All these catastrophe movies are just uh, always the same. Zippity zap, clickety clack. Farsi gets a bit more experience here. Blade Master still stuck on level one for a little while, but the grunts are going to rectify that momentarily. So now comes the war mill. Are we going to have a headhunter transition here by Kiwi or what? Or is it mass Kodos? Kiwi, Kiwi, Kiwi. Kodo, Kodo, Kodo. Did you like the Kiri Kiri little uh, fresh cheese thingy as a kid? I was more a uh, Philadelphia guy, but it was okay. Dude, Philadelphia with jam. Really good. Oh, almost a surround on the far seer. Speed scroll. He wants to force the TP. And, and he does. He does. And nothing, n like nothing much has happened, but 
Looks like uh, things are going well for Hitman again. Close to level 3 fast here though, that's good. Only now a shop makes it really hard to heal the fast here. Oh, and Hitman feeling bloodthirsty. Sees the shop is late. Oh, oh does he actually no. get the cancel? Uh oh. Well, at least Kiwi knows he can heal without harassment at the fountain for a little bit. And he's also getting level 3. And we're getting a resub from Kevin WC3. Dude, Good Kevin, I was so impressed with your Mountain Giant micro. I can't, I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you could do a guide on how to micro mountain giant, bro. That would be really successful. Get those big clicks. So, no tier 3 tech by Hitman yet. Going Shadowhunter Totem. Doesn't seem sure what's happening on the other side. TC, more grunts, no walkers, just a beastery. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is just straight up Hitman's build that he plays all the time. Would love to see this against just standard orc mirror play. Against like Cash or Bizarre or somebody. Not gonna see that today though. Maybe in the finals. If they make it. If they do. Wolf Harass into the main. A little annoying, but not too much damage is going to be done here. So what did he make that warm up for? Yeah, right? Is it upgrades? He is starting an upgrade early. Raiders and attack. grunts. Maybe he doesn't want to fight and just goes for pillage run buys. So he's gonna fight against an opponent with Heal Wave and Spirit Link without Heal Wave or Spirit Link or any kind of dispel. I, I don't think he's gonna fight. Does he have Steel Scroll? Yeah, yeah. That's probably the wiser choice. But then it's gonna hurt to not have a TP. Yeah, maybe that's why he's going for the shop. He doesn't have the biggest gold. Hitmaster still keeping the enemy side busy. Hitman sees that the Farseer here is soaking up experience. I think he's happy with that. Seeing the TC's leveling here progressing so slowly. Whereas the Shadow is almost level 3 already, especially for orcs on this map. Level 3 creep route, super easy for the second hero. Natural, shop, boom, and you're almost there. 1-1 one, one upgrades for Kiwi on the way. Before he hits 50 supply. Still mm. no TP, just the heal scroll. That looks this like looks like nonsense. This looks like Starcraft strat. Grenade 1-1 one, one upgrade timing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at all the peon corpses in the main, though. Huh. Work, work. How much gold did he lose? Oh, wow. A ton of lost mining time as well. There's Wolf Harass. Starting to do some serious damage. It's not bad, not bad. That's the prep. Red spot for Hitman, though. A little cunning. All right. He needs a follow up. To this wolf for us. Okay, he has a walker there now. Should be able to deal with it. Tier 3 as well. Ooh, two grunts hurt. Shadow Hunter's here. He no hex? Oh, no hex, okay. That's a lot of peons in the gold mine, Mr. Hitman. That's a few too many. I'm gonna share the workload. But with five peons, you have perfect efficiency. Well, Hitman is not the German, so. 
Maybe that's not his goal. He looks kind of German though, doesn't he? What? <laughs> <laughs> with a mustache? Put a mustache on him? Hitman? I would love seeing Hitman with a mustache. <laughs> he, he can borrow Carson's for Carnival or something, or Halloween. Yeah. Carson should shave it off, should glue it onto one of those uh, Carnival masquerade thingies, and then they should just swap It'll in be between glorious. in between weeks or something. Dustic, by the way, continues tonight with Carson and Bidou casting. Looking forward to that. My sleeping schedule is so fucked, I think I'm gonna watch it live tonight. Why is that? Is that because of the heat? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Can't really sleep. Well. Did the... Does the uh, ear phone trick not, not work anymore? It is, it is, it is. I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping long. But I sleep in late. Or early. So, so you're sleeping too long, is what you're saying? Mm, I'm. I fall asleep very late, like five to six a.m. Oh wow! And then I sleep until whatever noon or something. But yeah, I pretty much go to bed when the sun rises. True gamer. Yeah, <laughs> dead case gamer cute, life. Cute gamer girl. <laughs> <laughs> Tee hee. More. Peons killed. That's the only damage Kiwi is doing. 56 supply, got the flute, got the pendant, got the mana potion. You know what he said? He should set up in the main? Stasis transfer. Oh yeah. <laughs> Great idea. This is a lot of gold lost, like a lot, a lot of gold. But we get torrents! Oh, and the zap into the peon line. It's two more going down. And Hitman does not have a TP. He is close to the main though. He's walking back now. Reinforced defenses finally finishes. But a little too late for that Boro. Another Peon goes down. And it's quite a bit more damage towards these Boros. And Snare, Devour. The Koro oh. gets the Torrent. Does he have a oh TP out? Yes, he does. If he leaves this battlefield with the Koro in the stomach, oh my. But it doesn't look like it. There's no heal, so the Torrent is free. Kiwi a little too over eager to get this last burrow as well, or second last burrow as well. That stomp was not so effective, but Kiwi has committed. He wants to get this burrow and he will TP out after. One raider in trouble, but will survive. Whew, that was a punch in the gut though for Hitman. How many PMs does he have left? Two? Two? Only two? Oh my god. And he doesn't have lumber for more burrows. Oh. Hitman, why are you so greedy? Not scouting, not buying TPs, dude. You're the better player. Honestly, if he loses this, he's kind of, he kind of deserves to lose for playing it so unsafe. Yeah, this is not a fighting army. This is just... Like, all Kiwi did was use a couple of wolves and then this push into the main. And the couple of wolves would have been fine if he had also been scouting for this push, but he didn't. Hitman a little too greedy, a little too sure of himself, maybe. Oh, the Tease is taking a lot of damage, though. Yeah. Oh, boy. There is no invul, no heal potion. Oh, purge! Oh Backstab, bye-bye! That Can't. purge killed him! Oh, that's very unlucky for Kiwi. Does not have enough for a tavern revive, by the way. But has a lot of meat here in the front line. Peons, grunts, raiders, everything. He's 20 two, supply two ahead. He's 20 supply ahead. He has two, two upgrades. Get Sakodo in as well. Hitman needs a miracle. He's out of mana now as well. Oh, oh Bidu must be furious. The star player. Disappointing here. Oh, the Shadow Hunter in the back. Almost getting surrounded. Raiders waiting for the ensnares to cool down. I don't know what can see from here. It's just the ocean is flood taken over. Another Kodo kills Torin. Oh my! Chain lightning could get a triple kill on like level five, maybe. 
Oh, oh. the nice hex. He needs some crits oh, over here. Oh, one kill. GG. The big surprise hit. Man loses his series. Respect it. Oh, is this going to be like an easy 2-0 for Hitman? Ah, ah. You can ladder as much as you want, but recently in competition, Hitman didn't shine. Same at Stay, as, stay at Home Story Cup, where he lost to Ente. Now losing to Kiwi Kaki. Yeah. Great to see for Kiwi. That must have been a nice feeling for him to get the victory there over the best org in NA. But man, Hitman, dude. Like one game, you play safe and you put on pressure, and that was map two. And uh, there we could clearly see that he's the better player. But map one and three, he risks it all by being super greedy, not scouting, not making sure he doesn't fall to cheese. So what happens? He falls to cheese. Not the best day for Hitman. Yeah, not a straight up fight. We will hit Hitman. Uh, we will see Hitman again probably in the two on twos. But man, is that a slap in the face of? dust the grand final far far away and oceanus kicks the door up wide open we got spiral versus long walk coming up next where spiral should be the favorite side versus hunter side in phenomenal shape le champion N neutron versus boo i gotta confirm by the way this is boo and yeah the two and two maybe dust is still the favorite there but boy oh boy do they have some catching up to do Someone sent me the order of games. What's next? Uh... Okay, maybe two and two. Maybe... Hunter. We're going to kick you into a little break. And then we're back with Dust vs. Oceans. W3AL semi-final. See you in a bit. Here we are. Second attempt to get this two and two started. Hitman and OC versus Spiral and Neutron in the two and two. So hopefully this booster thingy works now. Unable to connect to server. Well, that's not great. It's bad, man. Yeah. Okay, then we don't have an overlay for the two and twos. I'm very sorry, but it is Oceanus in orange. And dust in the green. Alrighty then. What do we got? Spyro going with an early headhunter build. Could this be the TC headhunters? Ooh. It's a 2v2 classic. Potom TC perhaps? That would be that would be quite some auras, eh? Yeah. We saw that in WGTL, didn't we? Maybe. In the regular season, maybe. But it's a keeper. Oh. With his altar being so late, this should be a TC though, and then maybe so in style, just feeding him uh, up to level eight at nine. They're both playing the same, by the way. Ooh. It's mirrored to be two strats. Interesting. All right. So Dust claims to have the best 2 and 2 in the world. And oftentimes they are right with that. Last encounter they won as well. I think you've claimed that more than anybody else did. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bidu can always uh, one up me. You've said that a lot though. I don't know if it was uh, sometimes as a meme, but you have certainly said it a lot. Yeah, yeah, it is yeah. Uh, It is sometimes yeah, true. Yeah. And of course, uh, that was truthful because the Bible tells us, you shall not lie. Yeah, me and the Bible, we got, like, not the greatest uh, connection. Unlike you, of course. It's okay, dude. In Bible camp this summer, we're gonna get those demons out of you. Where is it this time? The Vatican. Oh. Close to our dear friends. Gonna bring a lot of children this time. Ay, yay, yay! Inappropriate jokes! You have to sin for that. Well, it's Saturday tomorrow, so decent timing, I guess. 
Neutron creeping with Treants, not having Entangle early. Pretty big camp right away. And Spiral indeed with a TC and Headhunters. OC not creeping. He is harassing right away, but he's getting stormed to like one third. Uh, really wants this Headhunter though. Yeah. I guess he's gonna get it. Deny. All right, now it's Newton time to harass. And with level two, he's gonna be a little bit stronger. He can summon some treants as well if he wants. And of course, Entangle. But he's already level two. More and more headhunters are coming out. Even a friendly little Moonwell there to help out the big ox. Oh, that's nice. That's real friendship. What's the differences between ox, bull, and steer, by the way? Does it all have to do with different forms of castration, or is that something else? Yeah, it does have to do with castration, but I don't know the difference. I should. I really should. But... For when you want to start breeding <laughs> cattle to have your own rumpsteak factory. Players that, that's the then goal. he's going to have his rumpsteak factory and then he's going to be like, I actually prefer schnitzel. <laughs> 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 yeah, this is what all the eSport grind is for. One day I'm going to do my own restaurant. Oh, look at this. Neutron getting stomped. Neutron getting speed oh. scrolled. Neutron getting surrounded. Nicely done by Mr. Hitman. OC on the other side. Also in a bit of trouble, but seems like he's faring much better. Oh, nice block though. Really nice. Wow, what a block by Spyro. Okay, that was pretty bogus. OC is suffering quite a bit. Neutron is back to full health, being aggressive right away. Shouldn't the game plan here be somehow create enough space, somehow do enough harassment or whatever to buy space for the night of to go tier 3 and headhunters eh uh, not headhunters mountain what am i saying mountain giants that seems attack. like the hard counter right but nobody's teching is this a new meta boys nobody techs wait what we have zero tech yeah ah spiral started now Whew, but that's late that is late Not too much creeping yet, as the TCs are being pressured. Now OC is joining his ally here in the north. Neutron certainly has to back the hell up. And now can give Spiral the call, bro. They're both here. I need help? But Spiral says, nah, dude, you're fine. I'm just gonna keep creeping. Players forces are under attack. All right, does he have a TP? He must have, right? But he's also very, very hurt. He won't be in fighting shape. Oh, Neutron is distracting quite a bit. It's gonna be level 3 here for the TC. And gonna get the big item in just a second. Crystal Ball. Well then. <laughs> the big item. Not the greatest. Yeah, Spiral, what now? Doesn't look like they're ready for the attack, but... Dust is also losing quite some time just because of the Keeper. OC with the Wisp block and an Entangle and a Surround. And there's no TP anymore because he just lost it. That's a Keeper in the grave. Two Hunts also went down there in the main. But a Counter Stomp coming out. There's going to be at least two Headhunters falling. Three Headhunters falling. Another Hunter's going down. Quite a few losses over here. Another Stomp. Oh, beautiful Stomp. Now come OC's hunts as well. A little late to the party though, perhaps. One more storm coming out. Oh, the TC for Spiral. Too far forward, taking out no more heroes for Oceanus. Best two and two in the world, taking out two heroes. Supply-wise, how does it look? 35 on, oh, 70, they're plummeting. 30 supply only for Hitman, but man, these hunts. They're quite dominating. This looks like the critical mass of hunts where they two shot the headhunters. Level four, level three. Good play by Dust. It feels like this 
stomps around from Hitman in the early really changed everything. And the follow-up kill on the t on the keeper later on. That's and it already. That's, yeah. That was quick. That was easy. That was 1-0. That For was dust. Alright, so Clan Wars tied up 2-2. Two, two. And chance Sorry. for a three-pointer here for Dust. As they have the strongest 2v2 in the world. That could very well be possible, but now map choice lies with Neutron and Spiral. Yes. Thank you very much, Brickball, for the three-month resub. Less than three to you as well. I wonder if the Dust Boys still think that you hate them. That was their opinion during Anaheim. You never say Me? something nice about us. We, this is, this is why we're here. We really want Dreamo to say something nice about us. <laughs> well, they were kidding though. Oh, weren't they? I say yeah, nice things about Hitman and Cruncher all the time. Like, uh, player caliber wise. And I also say nice things about Carson and Bidu fairly regularly, I think. Huh. Yeah, they were just joking. They were having a giggle. Okay. Okay. And I'm, it feels like an eternity ago, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah. Way too long without events. I really yeah. need an event. I need to socialize with some Walker boys again. It was also before all the corona stuff hap started happening in Germany. And like basically everywhere yeah, else. Yeah, but of China. it was kind of on the verge, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, you know, the. The rules weren't implemented yet. It was still. Ah, oh, is it gonna? Is it gonna transfer over to us or is it not? Let's see. And then boom, there it was. Yeah, in the airport they were already like, they were looking for temperatures or something, or taking temperatures of some people. But yeah, nothing extraordinary. Did you have to do a ther thermometer test, Neo? Uh, you know, in I, certain like places. I, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, Lost Temple out and uh, Circle of the Fallen Heroes out. So we have no wood. What? Those are both great maps. <laughs> I love those maps. <laughs> that is very correct. Remember that are both maps. I feel like we should remove Turtle Rock from 2v2. Isn't it just too small? <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the games in WGT add on Turtle Rock either. We should bring it back in one on one then. Uh, if we change like half the map, okay. No. Yes. You always have such strong feelings towards maps. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I want to have balanced maps where we ha can have fair games. I'm sorry, I have such a controversial opinion. Yeah, it's really annoying. Go TM, Eurohost. Okay, that was the NA host. Maybe that had to do with the performance here. And we go on to Turtle Rock. Hell yeah! Oh no, uh, that, that would be game three. Twisted Meadows, right? Twisted Meadows, yes. <clears throat> Do we know what the third sub-match after this is going to be, by the way? No. Why? No. I'm oh, just curious. <sighs> of course, we still have Neutron vs. CG CJA coming up, where Neutron is the favorite. Side vs. Hunter coming up, where probably Side is the favorite. And Spiral vs. Longwalk coming up, where probably Spiral is the favorite. So, as Hitman need to score in his 1v1, they also need to score here in the 2v2. And since it didn't work so well for Hitman, a 2-0 here for Dust would go a long way. Might be a result they desperately need, honestly. Yeah, they need this map, kind of. It's going to be uh, rough as this is zero host, as we said. But in 2-2, two and two, maybe that doesn't matter as much as it does in 1-1. One one. Twisted is up. Game name OCG.
We saw fast TC a strat with headhunters here on the first map. But map two is very different. Twisted Meadows, it's a lot smaller than Hellfire, isn't it? Yeah. yeah Especially base to base distances. Should be one of the some also one of the smallest two on two maps, I guess. Mm. Especially base to base. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, man, that Twist is one of the smallest maps. <laughs> Alrighty. Then let's go into map two. One oh four dust. Clan War is tied 2-2. Two to two. We got Ocean is in the yellow. Spiral upper left. Neutron bottom left. And Dust Gaming. We got Oxy and Hitman in the red. So will we see the split pushes? That TM is so famous for. Mm, I kind of don't think so. I think we're going to see a TC mass strat again. And that is usually the strongest when combining forces and punching hard together. And we do, in fact, see a delayed altar again by both Org players playing the TC, despite him having been nerfed recently. Stomp is still pretty good, it turns out. Yes. <laughs> the one second cooldown. Was it enough? Still questioning. Yeah, I think it wouldn't be too bad of an idea to reduce the hero stun time. Gotta make a Reddit post. Uh, it's kind of lame if you do the jokes yourself. <laughs> I waited for you for two seconds, but you didn't yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't want to do it too much. You know, it was getting old already. Gotta be a little, a little more careful with that. So we have Potom versus Keeper. Oh. Potter by Potter. Neutron, going for, I guess, more of a late game variant with the aura. Whereas the Keeper harassed with Entangle, of course, early game, level 1. Centric. Okay, this is then mass hunt for both of them, or will we see one of the players teching? Would be a little unusual, should be mass hunt. Yeah, I think so. How is Hitman going to do this Rock Golem pull without a Blade Master, by the way? He wants yeah. to do it. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, the cool thing is, I guess he has aura, so he's faster. Hmm. Oh, but the bottom's here to harass. Okay, Oy. never mind. Okay, no cool. rock bottom pull for you. And Searing Arrow. Can he prevent the shop? Yeah, Damage looking good. And as we learned, and as you pointed out this week already, Potom Arrow works against buildings. Are under Pretty cray cray. That's a cancer right there. Okay. Cool little accomplishment for Neutron. Slows Hitman down on the other side. OC with the Keeper in the base, trying to get some kills. Got one peon. Probably gonna get one headhunter here as well, but it's costing him a lot of health and mana. Does take a price. Oh, and the wisp detonate in the back. Saves the headhunter. Great by Neutron here to park a few wisps in the enemy main and the allied main. So here we go for the rock golem creep. Wisp is nearby. Doesn't work that way. Yeah, that didn't work out. Hmm. Okay. Ultra Vision coming early. Hitman recently told me that he thinks Ultra Vision is one of the biggest problems in the game. Which uh, I hadn't heard before. It, it certainly is good. And then RTS, information is key. Yes. And Vision is information. And some Night Elves still skip it. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, they're busy a click microing all the time. So Spiral's creeping is obviously going a lot better. He has a little more freedom. But this could be stressful. With OC pushing in again and the TC being so low. Hmm. 
Yeah, not much creeping here being allowed at all. That one entangle on heroes especially though doesn't do that much damage. Tries to get the headhunter instead. Did I? Oh! Oh my god, actually survived. Spiral. <laughs> Calculated. He knew it. A player's forces Got the calculus in. out. Okay. Hit pushing already with level one. We got double racks by Hitman. Looking again for the TC Storms around. That worked really well on the first map. Bottom. Speed scroll. Oh, Stomp needs it. Nice. Okay. But yeah, that's again. Neutron falling into this trap. Ah, haha, ha, Shadow Melt. And no dust. Is he gonna TP to save her or just let her mm. die? It's only level one hero. Ideally, shouldn't have sacrifice that one hunters as well and yeah it's gonna let her die but that was a lot of time for spiral to creep go to level two now and it's taking the next camp here mercenary camp incinerator thank you for the 26 month reset i hope you're doing good bro sir got a baby on the way right so congrats to that again Everyone's having children. When are we gonna have some new? I think we have to adopt <laughs> someone, right? Can we name it Lynn? It doesn't really matter if it's a boy or girl. Just name it Lynn. In Germany, you have to give it at least one of the uh, first names, though. First or middle name. That yeah, the but we can hide the middle name then. Anyway, we got a yellow oceanous force collapsing onto dust. There was a big stomp right there, hitting basically everything. Oh, dodges the stomp, the next one. This time for the Europeans, the ping seems to be a lot better as we are on European server, of course. And that seems to be a fight. <laughs> Clearly going Ocean is his way. Yeah. Would love Bottom to have a tangle now for Chase, but uh, that is not the case. A player's forces are under attack. Seeing the Merc camp here away could also be very beneficial. If they get the experience, that's also level 2 for the Podem, and with that, the Aura. Oh, Scroll of the Beast, oh. that's pretty sick on all the Headhunters. Oh my, OC is going to have such a tough time. Stomp only getting one hunt, but two more falling. Retreat into the base now. Will they allow this? Can they get I'll some reinforcements? OC is so hurt. Especially while the Scroll of the Beast is still active, it's very tempting to dive there into the enemy main. But perhaps that would be a step too far. They're gonna fall back for now, there's more creep camps to take. Bottom level 3 is a massive level up. TC4, also really good. Is anybody teching by now? Yeah, Spyro's reaching tier 2. A player's Dust, are under still attack. only tier 1. Right, more creeping for Neutron. Now level 3. Battle of Giant strength for more survivability and a scroll. This is looking so good for Oceanus. Thank you, Darksa, for the three month resub. Oh, when here comes the next push. Yeah. Podium 3, scrolls, TC 3, full health, full mana. No reinforced defenses for Spiral. This could lead to a couple of Burrow kills. Maybe this will force a TP home. Oh, they're doing a pretty good job here, Dust. Doing a lot of damage, finding reinforcements. Hacking the economy here to bits, but now Hitman is gonna TP home. Double TP. Alrighty, pretty good TPs right there. Keeper in a bit of trouble. Oh my, this is so chaotic. Scroll protection on both sides, no dispel against that. But Spiral has so much more mana on the TC. Quite a few more storms here to be used. Also the TC for uh, Hitman doesn't have a TP anymore. He's getting focused here, kind of. Tries to get to the Moonwell. Last second he gets it, but the Keeper falls down. And that is now certainly Ocean is with the lead in this fight. 
Nice in bull stomp. Dodge there. TC level 4. But Everything. at the same time, Ocean's army is disappearing. Is Wait that? a minute. What? I thought this is game. Level 5 TC. No mana though. No mana for Searing Arrow either. Oh, oh that was 25. one. Can, they, oh can she reach? There's a Moonwell. He tried to block with the Wisp a little too late. Moonwell. Oh, he doesn't need it. Oh, it's empty anyway. What the? How did they survive? Potom's still diving for it. They're dancing a little. She can't get this kill. There's no way. Against Stomp. Dude, is, is she dying here? Speed scroll. Oh, oh, oh. oh. oh my god. Ah, no way. Neutron, you were right. I was wrong. You get that kill, bro. Dude, there was a level 5 TC dying. He buys some back. So expensive. Okay, supply check. 29 for Spiral. Was blocked for a long time as well. 26 for Neutron. 38 for Hitman. And 44 still for OC. Dust Boys hold this. I, I thought it's over. I thought this is yeah, so I thought it was over. Too. over. To be honest, the first few stomps there by Spiral were pretty awful. He could have walked into the front line of everything, but he didn't properly micro his own units in the first line of fire away to get that sweet, sweet connection. A little complacent, maybe. But he's almost level 5 now himself, got the lion horn, which is amazing. And why is Neutron not upgrading his hunts, by the way? Only 0-0 zero, zero still. Yeah, that seems like an issue. <sighs> Crazy dive. This TC kill maybe kept them in the game but they have to weather a different storm now Is it already? he has double mana potion for level three stomperino yeah and neutron has like nothing he's all okay two more hunts coming out gets him up to six that's a lot better than four what the hell dust <laughs> yeah best two and two team in the world <laughs> yeah i heard that somewhere before. All right, who's got the better stomps? It's a great position here for Dust. The Headhunters in the back, perfectly protected, but crazy strong stomp there by Spiral as well. Both TCs looking for the big connection. Oh, but the detonates! Yeah. The Wisp detonates making a massive difference. Almost all mana drained on he Hitman. Got... Another detonate coming in. He got two potions though. First one used already. Stomps were good. OC only down at 30, but 50 supply. For this. Oh, that stomp was massive. Level 5 bottom. That's plus 9 damage on the headhunters. TP out by Spiral, though. To reposition a little, I guess. There you go. Okay. Get some more, a little bit into the safety of the Moonwells. Neutron has nothing but the bottom. 11 supply. 11 supply. He's as close to 6, by the way, for Headman. Kind of. Okay. Maybe you should just send the Keeper away. Screw <laughs> that guy. Stomp again. Oh, Ocean doesn't want to give this up, but it's looking dire. But they hold this. Six, really close, but Headhunters with plus nine freaking damage. Spiral Protect? Oh my god. What is this two and two? Like it's pretty painful at this point. Ooh, and that's level six for yep. Spiral first. Can't kill this man anymore. Darn. Those detonates saved the game. Yeah, right. Neutron with his 12th and 13th supply. Sick. Sick, sick, sick. Okay, they have to deal with the tower now. Neutron has to rebuild an army, but Spiral can be a very, very solid carry. Yeah, what about that AP, by the way? The town Wouldn't the shop have been a lot better? Probably. Wow, only four Wisp in the gold mine for Neutron. Yeah, I mean, those detonates were worth it. How long has that been the case? Not too long. Not far behind. More headhunter for more experience. Keeper has a potion, no TP. Does this 
pressuring them Players into the base. Did they get some kind of shop advantage from it? Doesn't seem like it. Okay, they're diving into Spiral Space against Shadow Hunter. Not too sure if the if the SA is gonna survive much longer. Wait, there's I'm no TP. Stomp. He's gonna have a lot of disable though. There's no TP. Stomp was a little too early, but uh, the next hex is coming in. Speed scroll. The next stomp is following. Oh, oh and hitman. that might be it. Yeah. Oh, hitman. What? Why? I mean, of course, there he died, and then suddenly it looked pretty dumb. But honestly, once that push failed, and the bottom was five, and the, the enemy bottom was five, and the enemy TZ was six, I think they were so far behind, maybe they needed to try something desperate. But man, was that close. 1-1. One, one. That means no three points from the Hitman games. That means 3-2 uh, now for Oceanus. With the chance to go for the 4-2. And then that would be match points on map 3 already. Not starting off well here for Dust. But they're gonna go back to their server now. To Turtle Rock. Turtle Rock. Can you make a Potom work here as well or is that too greedy? Excuse me? Can you make a Potom work here as well or is that too greedy? You need to level both, right? Like PC and bottom. On this map, there's a lot of small encounters. Uh, it's not easy to find the levels for bottom. For TC, it's okay. But even creeping TC isn't so easy, right? Like normally the middle camps, the back turtle camps are very easy with grunts, but with headhunters, not so much. Well, with hunts, it's okay. Do they even play hunts here? Very narrow map. Yeah, I think you have to play hunts. Hunts headhunters all the way, baby. <laughs> yeah, on the big maps, or at least bigger maps, we saw a lot of TO1 pressure focus. Would be very, very unusual if now on the smaller map we see a more relaxed early game with more focus on creeping. All righty. We got the players in. Colors are fine. And we're ready to go then. <laughs> What's up? Chad pointing out Neo saying, not sure if SH is worth it. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, uh, like this was related to maybe a another big fight. Could be focused. Easy. But yeah, in that moment, that was pretty good. Yeah, level three stomp and hexes. Is that a hundred percent lockdown uptime? It's close to it, at least. Okay, deciding the two and two on the NA server now. So, Neutron and Spiral in the north of Turtle Rock and OC and Hitman. Man, if they lose this now, I would say all hope is lost for Dust. They need to win so desperately to yeah. at least tie this up to a 3-3. They really need to win, true. Then they would force a fourth series at least. It is more than 100%, uh, I looked it up right now, more than 100% <laughs> lockdown time, by the way, up time. That's pretty sick. Yeah, I mean, Stomp only has... Okay, it's it's actually exactly 100% right now. Stomp has a three-second downtime on Heroes nowadays, since the patch. And Hex has a... Ah, oh, yeah, it has a four-second duration on Heroes, right? So it's a, it's 100% disable. Pretty good. <laughs> It absolutely is. We see a keeper for OC. We see Hitman again with the headhunter strat. 
We see a pardon once again for Neutron, and why not? She was a very, very hard carry. And Spiral with Headhunters again. This map is a lot smaller. Can yeah. we still get a Potom to level 5? And yeah, the Potom was stuck on level 1, didn't even have the aura for a long time. It was kind of a problem. Finally, she got to level 2 and the aura. But level 3 took quite a while. And level 3 wasn't enough. As we remember, the fight there in the bottom right in Hitman's base actually went to dust where we thought, what the hell, how is that even possible? And only when the Potom finally got to 5, that's when it really started kicking in. And, as we pointed out before, how is she going to level that here? Not going to be so easy. But we're going to see how Neutron does this. It's going to be going towards Hitman once again. Night Elf harassing the Orc. Forces are under attack. And it's supposed to be. Indeed. So, can the Keeper buy the necessary time? Kind of cool to Neutron to cover for Spiral already. Delays the own progress for the Potom, but she can't creep anyway, so she's going to try to put some damage on the Keeper so Hitman can creep this. Uh, what, did, what am I about? What? No. <laughs> Jesus Player Christ. Uh, <laughs> trying to harass so Spiral can creep this. And I think that makes sense. Like, the Potom can't harass the enemy TC so well as the Keeper can. But what the Potom can do is put pressure on the Keeper here. That seems to make a lot of sense here. This early game plan by Oceanus. A little bit of experience here for the TCs to start things off. Going to climb those levels as quickly as possible. Level 3 on the TCs where he starts becoming impressive. And the higher we go, the crazier it gets. Much like the Crypt Lord, the first seven levels, very strong. Still haven't seen a Crypt Lord first in 2v2, by the way. How sad. Yeah, there's a couple of Night Elves uh, that might stop the Crypt Lord from that mode. Cool. Right, bottom distracting, keeper distracting. Back. Close to level 2 on the TEC, Spiral with the same, so it's all about that last hit here. And he gets it. Can the bottom steal this on a higher ping? Oh, might be able to get a Headhunter. No. Nice speed scroll. Oh, so perhaps even a Hunter's Surround? Oh, that was so close. Also, no dust. So Shadow Mal would have saved her for a long time. And it's actually Spiral getting slightly more experience. Pretty impressive what Neutron has been able to do with the bottom. It's been this has been looking really good so far. By Yuri. What's his last name again? Yeah, I knew that once. Kirov, Kurov, I, I want to say uh, Nagamenov, like the, the MMA guy. Yeah, that's not it. We will fight here. Spiral is losing some headhunters. Keeper still zero experience for OC. Now got the first one. Yuri Evgenovich Karev. Karev, yeah, not Kirov. Karev. All right. So, I have a nightmare about these Kirov sounds in Red Alert 2. <laughs> when suddenly they appear in my base and it goes, shoo, 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 and oh, all my buildings are falling. Maybe Neutron is getting nightmares about Storm, but the TC movement was a little indecisive. A so Potom is gonna die or TP out. But this is also more time. He's creeping at the side. Telestaff? Oh, TC staffing to the other side. Would have loved to steal the item here, but it's uh, the claws instead. And now Spyro's stuck in a surround, almost. No, not quite. Doesn't seem to be Hitman's greatest day today. Potom finally dies. However, only level one. Spyro got another headhunter here. The other will get away. Oh, but now the Keeper's coming in. And with the entangle and the chase, this is exactly the situation he was hoping for. He's far behind, though. Can't reach. 
No mana for a storm. Spiral is safe, and this is Neutron Spiral with a pretty good AD supply army. Hitman is lacking more headhunters. He's cancelling some healing though, OC. That's pretty good. And now the Keeper is here. One hunter, one headhunter. Mm, getting close to storm mana again. Really wanted the Seth Hunter. And he gets it. In the meantime, we have Hitman continuing to creep. Who only now gets level 3. It feels kind of late. But he's going to get the big turtle item as well. Scroll of the Beast. Hello. <laughs> okay. Quite some damage on that TC. The player's forces are under attack. Pardon still far away from the aura though. Hitman TC's back into the main. He smelt this push coming. Oh, Spyro with the next stomp could be huge! OC is missing and he seems to be too greedy to TP. Here comes the stomp into all of the headhunters. This might be the end right here. He's trying to get out, but TC is so hurt. Oh my god, the stomps! Absolutely destroying Hitman. Crazy damage towards these headhunters. And the Wisp detonates again against the Keeper. Makes it so that there is no mana anymore. Oh my lordy. Level 4 for this TC for Spiral. And the Headhunters were so protected. Barely even touched. Needs to refocus now. Neutron doesn't have too many uh, hunts anymore. Okay, they hold. Spiral 10 supply lead. That Boro is certainly falling. That's gonna mean Hitman supply stuck at 30. Hitman's healing up in the back of the base. TC especially is gonna have decent mana again soon, I suppose. Ocean is falling back a little bit, and OC is waiting right there. They're gonna get one head on her. Probably gonna get a second. Oh, in the pot, and that's the big kill. Neutron not looking there apparently. Spiral's gonna have to TP out. Certainly can't fight this one versus two. And with those kills. Okay. They're back in it. Okay. Dust is still alive. You rebuild the burrow. Needs another one. And then regroup. 50 supply push. He techs to tier three. If he gets the time, this will be big damage, of course. A player's and way player. more sustainability on the head hunter. A ton of experience for the one. TC as well. He's already getting bonus XP. Yeah. Spyro is only tier 1, so just mass. How long does this tier 1 work? Scroll the beast now also for them. Where we had it early on dust, now it's on oceans. Oh, but a new one found for dust as well. <laughs> so 3 out of 3 scrolls of the beast here so far. Upgrades, by the way, again. 0-0 zero, zero for Neutron. 1-1 one, one for Spiral. 1-1 one, one also for OC and 1-0 oh for OC. Red camp now for Dust, hoping for the big aura. A player's forces are under attack. Command and Legion Doomhorn, the best. Also, Cat Gas Pipe, very good. Medallion for the TC. Good, but not amazing. Amazing! Did you see the Sonic the Rider Vi video? I haven't yet, actually. <laughs> Still need to check it out. Good stuff, good stuff. You are featured quite uh, prominently. Oh! You look so different. Back. No beard at all. Yeah. Yeah. One day I'm gonna shave it again. One Completely? day. Completely? Like to zero? To yeah. baby face Remo? Yeah, baby face Remo. Coming to a cinema near you. Oh man, they really want this red camp. But this yeah. red camp is getting expensive, man. The main is getting ravaged. Heals, rune of healing, pick it up. Item, pick it up. And then it's time to TP. Oh man, this was way too expensive. Yeah. This wrecked Spiral's base. Yeah. Spiral supply stuck. Lost quite a bit. 
Oh yeah, Hit Hitman is a uh, trap, but that's about it. That's a TP. Oh, and the last borough. Oh, the last borough also falls. Oh my god. The last borough coming to a cinema near you. Um, okay. Four boroughs to be yeah. rebuilt. Uh, come on, OC is just waiting to raid bases again. And the Berserker upgrade is finishing in just a second. The TC is gonna be level six in no time at all. I think that was the checkmate move right there. Looks like it, huh? They're going for the Tree of Neutron. Invisible hunts to block most of the army, I guess. Stomp reveals for a little, but OC gets out. Three more hunts dying there in the middle of the map from Neutron as well. Oh boy, is it looking rough now. <laughs> One decision. And the game is over. Probably. Berserkers now. Harder to kill for sure. TC level 6 with two healed scrolls and a mana pot. Hit Lord second to apply the Howl of Terror. Okay. But minus eight is pretty good. Counters the pardon. <laughs> Pitlord is dying quick though. Oh boy. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah. Everything's dying for Oceans over here. <laughs> Looks like it, huh? Berserkers have a ton of damage. People get to level four. The bottom aura this game. Not the difference. Nope. Yeah. Neutron again at thirteen supply. GG by Spiral, and it is the tied up clan war that we were hoping for. One, our first victory for Dust. The clan war is tied 3 to 3 after Hitman lost the series to Kiwi Kaki. Now, a little bit of a revenge. But Hitman is supposed to get like 5 points, 6 points. Didn't happen here. So the start of this clan war is still great for. Ocean is gaming. More points than they, I guess, expected. We have the following matches left. Long Walk versus Spiral starting on Twisted. We got Hunter versus Side on Terranus Stand. And Boo versus Neutron on Concealed Hill. And we will see the next game after a little break. See you in a bit. Let's go into this third match of the day. The clan was tied 3-3, three three, our semi-final right here. It's first to eight, so both teams need five more points to make it into the grand final of season right. three. So, we are going to turn our stand for our first map. A very unusual map, at least it used to be to seed an Undead on against Night Elf. Normally there always was the number one veto, but things have changed since then. Undeads have become much more fa fond of fast expanding. We even have some critters nowadays on Terranus stand. And if there's a guy who likes playing non-standard strats, oftentimes with expos, well, we can certainly si count side as one of those people. As he's starting off with a ghoul build, Against Hunter's standard Merc Camp creep. Is this gonna be the first time where we see Papa Roach against Night Elf? Or is this the uh, uh, matchup where he's still relegated to the sidelines? We'll see in a bit as the altar finishes. For Hunter, it's a warden. Oh, somebody's been studying Lola at Replays. Ah, and a DK against it. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Warden is the strongest in 2 base versus 2 base. Against Undead. Yeah, could be a lot of harass. Really annoying. Ooh. Could also pummel the DK early. Ooh. It's interesting. If Side scouts the Warden, maybe his best course of action would just to be playing straight up one base tier 3 timing push. Because that is what the, where the Warden struggles. But when the game moves into two base versus two base, and Zeppelin harass, and blink fan, and economy damage, and stuff like that. And then second hero panda, creep up the map. 
the airship becomes really good. So it's going to be interesting to see here how Side reacts. Right. Hunter, do we know if he's still in New York or if he's back to Peru? I don't know. Neither. That is uh, pretty important for the ping. From Peru it would be like 300 or something. Our players are under attack. Yeah, true. Okay, we got the Shadow Priest, got the Creep, and DK and Ghouls are going for an expansion. He's inviting him to a two way two ways play. Yeah, okay. Not concerned about the Warden's late game harass power, apparently. Starts off with a Pendant of Energy. As we know, nowadays one of the worst items on this camp. Basically useless. For human. For human. Oh, wisp runs into the creep. That's not perfect. Got the second sacrificial skull against any kind of wisp detonates here. And Warden makes a way over with scroll and mantle. Oh, nice detonate there. Dodges the coil. But side, wisely brought double skull in case he needs a new little bit of blight over here. Didn't even need it. Tower finishes, and with that, the blight becomes undispellable or ziggurat finishes. All right. Ghouls cre uh, create quite some threats, and the warden is surrounded right away. Didn't go for blink. Shadow melt, okay. Oh, no. Dust here. The lab isn't open yet. Oh. Okay, fights out. With a lot of a Shadow Priest, but keeps the TP. Oh, Warden slowed, but no second chance for us around. Ah, Newton informs us Hunter lives in the US now. Ah, cool. Oh, really? A player's forces are Thank you, attack. Yuri. Always a great source of uh, knowledge, this man. What's he doing there? Working? Probably. <laughs> Hunting chupacabras, maybe. Maybe they fled from Peru and now he's helping out there. The town is under siege. <laughs> so, uh, we're gonna have Players all five acolytes at the attack. expansion here soon, and then it's time to tech, I suppose. Tech for Hunter already decently underway. If possible, you want to get. Tier 2, Tier 3 with a Warden quickly, level her up like crazy, and get to that juicy level 5. Side with quite a few ghouls. Side loves playing ghoul run, run bys. More acolytes making their way over, saturating this expansion to the fullest once it's finished. And the Warden, to be honest, didn't look too hot just yet. No creeping at the shop. Uh, Tree of Life is not ready to creep the natural. It's a slow Warden game, and Side is already there to punish it. And these ghouls. Dude, they could just go for the Tree of Life, actually. Like, in the main, I mean. During tag, he doesn't fight back. Ooh. But... Ooh. Kind of ambitious. Oh, there's a shop coming up right there. That's nope. an easy cancel. Hunter's Hole could also be killed, but he wants to go for the Moonwells, as this keeps Hunter slightly supply stuck and takes away the mana region. Alright, TP back now. Side is not retreating with the ghouls. Another Shadow Priest killed during the TP. Okay, that's finally level 3 here. And Hunter holds this. Was of course costing him a TP. A player's forces are under attack. But now, he wants to be on that side of the map anyway to finally creep this. He got the tech. Side started it as well. Big item for him. Scroll the beast. That can certainly be very nice. Graveyard coming. No triple crypt yet. With side, you always have to look out <laughs> for the sudden crypt explosion. Loves playing this mass ghoul, frenzy ghoul stuff. The flood. But perhaps going into just fiend standard is the more reliable playstyle. 
Alright. Double lore for Hunter. Should still be a, a second crypt, right? Or is he going into some weird mass abominations? Yeah, second crypt. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, if we cancel the entangled here, that would be a big deal. But I'm not sure that DK has the damage for this. I doubt he does, in fact. Well, gets a few kills, though. Should be two archers going down. One wisp. Already killed. Oh my god, that archer. <gasps> Run, little girl. Run, little girl. Oh, good save. Ghoul upgrades. Here we go, boys. <laughs> Could still be abominations as well with the double crypt. Oh, it's gonna be a sick frenzy push. Warden is nowhere near level five. Get solo experience now. Getting closer. Getting worried here for Hunter, dude. Oh, that's gonna be that's gonna be a lot of ghouls soon. Players' forces are under attack. Towers upgraded as well to just be safe. And Slaughterhouse now. No third crypt, but Lich second. Death Knight threatening more kills. Gets one. Okay, but one creeps more. This is level four. Ancient. Ay, 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 ay. Survives. With a shutter. Wasn't even close. Oh, Zappers! Zappers. Well, I don't send the sappers. Sappers singular. There's a really juicy spot right there to hit between the two ziggurats. You get a distraction though. The warden and the zeppelin. That is the distraction. And off we go. Very nice into the back. Acolyte's in trouble. Here comes the zapper. Big kaboom. Kaboom. Oh, he couldn't connect to the other tower though i think he was blocked there if that was intentional by side that is super cool base layout yeah and that zapper a little underwhelming a player's are under at least cost him some mining time yeah but it's not like gold is so big of an issue for side easily replaces those yeah that didn't work too well Tier 3 has started. We get Temple of the Dam, Necromancers, Double Temple, and Meat Wagons. Uh, yep. Mass Necro pushes. It's a thing nowadays, boys. Against Night Elf, man. This was such a meme strat for so long. I mean, you know, years ago, it worked the best against Night Elf. It doesn't seem like it should because they have Wisps and... Dryads, but that's expensive to spells. Dryads don't have many to spells, and wisps, cause gold. This is gonna be so rough to all the upgrades now. What's really, really, really good against this is fairy dragons, but that takes a long time. That's also kind of expensive to tech to. And Hunter, well, I'm so worried for him. Oh man, this person's gonna be so big. Frenzy is almost finished. Disease cloud upgrade as well. Second attack upgrade. It's just super rough to play for Hunter now. And I'm not even sure he knows. Yeah. We often speak about the warden that she's hard to play, that she needs proper momentum and stuff. Like in this game, she lo sh should be level 5 by now. Should be level 5 right now, hopping around the map, hopping around the bases, killing even ghouls, I guess, killing acolytes, being a complete pain in the butt, buying time for a transition. Four possibly fairies. But none of that is happening. But the push certainly is happening. Master training is ready. We got fiends as well. And then, oh my, this is so much. 60 supply, making it across. Hunter's got 2,000 gold. He's getting MG upgrades, but no units. Yeah. 
I mean, Hunter, at a certain point, you know, right you gotta back. stop with the greed. <laughs> yeah. Chimeras now. I don't know, dude. This looks very, very good for side. Yeah, chims don't do much, by the way, against uh, necros with what are they called? Skeletal mages. Which he has. Coronova almost gets rid of the warden. No staff. She got level 5, but. Yeah, not too many targets for that fan of knives. I mean, for the skill. There's a lot here. First set of skeletons was dispelled. There's a second one. And boy, will this tree of life. It's just. It's just gone. Blink and it's gone. Still 2000 gold for Hunter. Somehow, he still doesn't have enough lumber. Triple chim roost. That shows you how many upgrades he's been getting. So greedy. First MG. And side is still at 70. Still 2000 gold for Hunter. Two. Battle knives against five targets, but there's like 50. Yep. That's the problem with that spell. That's um, quite a scary flood. push over here. The scour, uh, Scourge invades the Sentinel. And it seems hopeless. Hunter fighting spirit, of course. Thing is also, against Necros, Avatar Vengeance isn't even that good because there are no corpses. Yeah. Correct. But he does get Avatar Vengeance. He's gonna get two spirits here by the look of it. Yay. And he gets surrounded. Yeah. And... Uh, oof! Almost dies. Not quite. The taunt saves it. Okay. Can the Chimeras do something? I guess there's... Oh, there's even a web. One single fiend with web. <laughs> Frenzy on the mountain side, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Cripple on the warden dispelled now. Here's the chimp. Decent Let's AOE. see. Not that scary. <laughs> yeah, especially not when web. Two more coming. Would be nice if you can take out the meat wagon fast. Oh no, second chimera is down. Cripple, oops, cripple on the chimera. That is minus 38 damage. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. GG! Ocean is taking the lead again. Yeah, nah. Hunter, that wasn't a uh, picture perfect play against nah. sides. Nah that, nah, that didn't quite work out. Oi, 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 oi. Just don't give side any time. When he can play like this. Yeah. <laughs> that one, not as impactful as we've seen her before. And you know, when Lolite and Foggy play the warden, she looks so good. She looks so amazing, but she's hard to pull off that way. And if you don't hit the timings at the right moment, she can feel really underwhelming as we saw here as well. And of course, having 2k in the bank, but no army. Is a bit of a problem. Yeah, gold doesn't fight for you. Oh, that was brutal. That was really brutal. Four to three for Oceanus. And if Side wins the next map, then it's six to three. Doesn't get much better. Yeah. Hunter needs to get at least one map. And Longwalk has to smash Spiral. Yeah, true. Andrew needs to win a map here to keep his dreams, his uh, hope, his team's dreams alive. And he's gonna have map choice here. Normally, good night of maps are well. Normally, it is Terranus, isn't it? Yeah. Amazonia. Vetoed. Echo Isles. 
But then again, Sai would probably love to play fast expansion on Echo Isles again. Yeah, I think you have to pick specifically against side and not like for night off or against on that. Just the strats are just so different. So we got CH, Echo, Northern and Twisted. If your goal is to make sides expo as hard as possible, CH, Northern, Echo and Twisted. Then I guess you want to go to Concealed. But there, Gargoyles will be awaiting. Most likely. Side has been playing some really impressive Gargoyle games lately. Against Sonic, among other Night Elves. So we're waiting for the call from Bidu. If Neo were a WoW class, he'd be a Pala, no doubt. You breathe Pala, it's cool. What is that supposed to say? You get that? What do you mean? Why is he the Paladin? I want to be the Paladin. Ah, is, that, I, is, that, is that a good I am thing? the righteous warrior of the light going to church every Sunday. You pretend to. Neo has not been to church probably in years that is true ch it is by the way so is pal in a good class in wow mm -hmm. uh, i don't know don't you watch the five on five wow tournaments <laughs> i don't think anybody watches those dude There's a new WoW expansion coming soon, though, called Shadowlands. That is, uh, it's kind of the only thing I can tell you about World of Warcraft. <laughs> GN Dust. Oh, speaking of oh. Uh, games, by the way, uh -huh. you've seen the Pokemon MOBA, right? Yeah. You excited? No. Really? It looks so bad. I thought it looked okay. I thought it looked like League of Legends. It looks like every other ported MOBA thingy. I don't know. I'm not hyped. I saw a lot of people pretty excited on Twitter. Yeah, I saw a lot of people pretty disappointed on the YouTube video. It's the highest disliked YouTube what? video of the entire channel. Really? Yeah, not a success. The main uh, critique is, I think, that the normal games suck and they try to jump on all the bandwagons after Pokemon Go. And they do side games a lot with, like, what's it called? Snap again and stuff. But the main games, the core, uh, sucks. The, so, normal, the normal Pokemon game sucks? Really? Sword and Shield? A lot of people thought it's bad. Didn't you say it was fun? It was very short. It was like fun because I didn't play it in a long time. It was more like this nostalgia factor. Remo, you'd be a warrior. Are you okay with that? Mm, yeah, I always play warriors in RPGs, so I, I guess that fits. Now, Neo usually plays the little pansy-ass spellcasters in the back. Yeah. Black hole. Blizzard. <laughs> little bitch. <laughs> yeah, I can see myself being like something, what's it called? Uh, spellcaster and also some summons. So I, I don't have to play with people, but can just, you know, tank stuff with a summon. But when you're a spellcaster, you don't have summons. Like when you're a wizard. No, but but uh, uh, pretty much what a necromancer is, warlock or something. Hmm. That has both, right? Did you you didn't even buy the necromancer DLC for Diablo three though, did you? No, nah, I was out already. It was no fun anymore. I put that was out. Well, maybe you're gonna enjoy Diablo four again when it comes out in like four years. They did an update yesterday, right? 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they're doing those quarterly, right? Crazy, right? Developing a game and giving people updates. Next week is patch week, right? Are you excited? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Either the patch is good and then I'm fine. Or finally, this hatred that's been brewing in my stomach for two months now, because the last patch was kind of good, can finally be released. I'm so looking forward to this. And when they so don't patch, I can hate as well that they don't patch. It's a win-win situation for me. So much negativity, bro. You need to chill with your vibes, okay? Like, uh, you, you need to get in, in contact with your... Spirit with the benevolent side of you. <laughs> so, uh, what would you say the odds are that the patch is coming out versus not coming out on Tuesday? What's the date? 30th. That's the last day of the month, right? As we're in June? Yes. Okay. I think... 80% patch. 20% no patch. Yeah, they've been, like, keeping with their patch monthly. They've been holding true to that so far. But, I mean, like, we all know, sooner or later, that will stop, right? It's not like for two years they're going to have a patch every month. There's no way that's happening. I think they can't stop with the monthly patches, though, until they have released the ladder. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. In hopes that people, you know, won't lose their shit too much. <laughs> I thought about this earlier today, by the way. We are not too far away from half a year game release without a ladder, boys. Have you noticed? And once again, I love to point out that I was the one reporting it and people were shitting on it. And I was right, and I'm very, very sorry that I was. Right about the release not having ladder, you mean? Or what? Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was pretty uh, common knowledge, but yeah, a lot of people didn't know it, I suppose. Thank you, Unsport League with the sub, RLJ23 yeah. with the sub, Testy Test with the 18 month resub, and Canny with the sub as well. Damn Guys. hype train. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Oh, Hunter starts the game off with an. Ah, I wanted to say Engine of War Deny, but actually not. No. Didn't kill the first one yet. There we go. Gets the full camp. Beautiful. Ring of protection. Not so beautiful, but also not bad. Makes the Demon Hunter a bit more tanky. Yeah, no Warden is uh, or should be the better option. Especially on this map. So how aggressive will he play? It's again a ghoul build by his side. No Ted Fiends or anything. Is it gonna be Gargs? <laughs> I think so. Could be. I think it is going to be Garg's. I mean, why not? You got the dragons here. Uh, fits his playstyle. Didn't you... they play at WCG last year? Yes. They were both side, there. Side lost, right? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember results from round robin group stages. I just... I... my This is... I got a mental block against round robin so hard that I don't remember any games of Round Robin Group State, except one, obviously, involving PCG. But that shows that my hatred All towards PCG is stronger than my hatred towards... Uh, and Robin. completely irrational. Yeah, I never doubt that. Never questioned that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure uh, Side lost that time, though. We do have a graveyard coming up. Do we have a crypt? He has the gold now. Come on, bro. Show us those gargoyles. Mad Frog would be proud. No. Ah, yes! Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Alrighty! More, more gargs. Oh, loses a ghoul to creeps. Nasty bash right there. Oh, DK should come in here for the harass. Mm -hmm, he's luring. He has no vision, right? Here we go. Right click. Oh. Coil. Got it. 
Oi, oi, oi. Can't just kill more. I'm gonna call the archer. Mm. That's almost level three. That Why's is the, level three. Why is there no mana burns? I think he did burn, but the DK was full mana. He did burn at least twice, maybe three times. A player's forces are under attack. A town is it aura level two? No. Would have been some classic goggle stuff right there. Hunter is looking for an expansion, but I think that's not the case. DK healing up. Yeah, that prevents level 3 for quite some time. Absolutely. Normally, against Gargoyles, you want to play an expansion pretty quick, but on this map, it's not that easy. Which is another factor why this map is so good for Gargoyles. Hard for Night Elves to expand, and of course, the Drakes, always juicy to pick up with Gargs and free fountain healing and so on. It still kind of confuses me that Gargs can heal at the fountain during daytime without aggroing the troops. <laughs> but, uh, well, that is how it works. They got a season ticket for the fountains. They can go whenever. And the creeps are the bouncers? And they're like, okay. Yep. You can stay. Yep. Ah, I see. How expensive are season tickets, like for football? I got, uh, like, European football or American football? Oh, we got chat going again with this. European. Mm. I'm just gonna guess, and uh, like season tickets is you can go to every game at home, or is it league specific? Is it season tickets just for the Bundesliga, or is it like every cup and everything? Let's say it's every cup and everything, <laughs> but but you know the cheap seats. I would guess it's like 1300 euros. Is that totally wrong or is that kind of in the ballpark? All games, like, uh, depends if you play like EuroLeague or something, then obviously you got a lot more games. But let's say average, I think that's okay. I mean, that's around 100 a month. It's four, uh, two games, 50, maybe three. Maybe it's a little too high. Even for the cheapest yeah. seeds, it's too high. Yeah, probably. So here are the gogs. Oh, even ghouls coming in here quite early for a bit of a creep jack. Naga's hurt already. Archers are always hurt with less than 300 HP. Oh, but Hunter actually saves all of them. Nicely done. Back to the moon well you go, ladies. Okay, whoops, the one didn't take a bath. Hmm, doesn't seem like Hunter has the biggest answer to this. Bottom is super low, there's no shop. Doesn't really want to dive with the DK and ghouls, but the gargs are enough. Inside, Le Champion de France. Looks like he's getting three points here. He is down in supply, but he's got tier three coming. Got more gargs on the way. Ghouls lost, yes, but uh, I think retaining the garg numbers is the more important thing here. Man, 2-0. Crazy fast. Bad Dryad. Our sacred grove is being desecrated. Where to go? <laughs> Thank you, Boyka, for the five euro donation. Just finished a rough week of work. There's no better way to start into the weekend than watching back to Warcraft. Please Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for your hard work and giving us your hard earned money. Much love. This guard control is really good. Side is finally gonna lose the first guard here. Oh, oh but he actually pulls him back in position. Peekaboo. Oh, nice. Man, that must be so annoying as Night Elf. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, American, uh, American football season tickets are $20,000. Oh. <laughs> Dortmund is 930 euros. Okay, I wasn't too far off there. But I guess Dortmund is like... Second best team in Germany? Mm -hmm. Who's third? That's uh, 
There's no clear answer, I think. Gladbach's pretty good. Leipzig's pr pretty good. Leipzig. Leipzig. <laughs> ah, who doesn't love Leipzig? <laughs> I really liked the city the few times I was there. I have never been still. Leipzig and Dresden, I've both uh, heard, are fantastic. But you know, it's, it's in the east. I don't want to spend time with all these poor people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like Mr. Burns, sitting in my mansion, rubbing my hands together. Yes, yes. So, red cam now. That goes pretty fast with Gargs. Oh boy. Yep. Oh, Scourge Bone Chime. So, if uh, Hunter ever had the idea. Of going hippos, he should not do that now. That camps again. Here this time, what are we gonna get? Double heal scroll seems like side is gearing up for a fight. Sacrificial pit. Leading to worms. Seems a little late though. Maybe he just wants vision. I feel like we see shade. Now. Who is it? Hmm? We saw it like this WC. week. WFC. WFC, yeah. Ah, yeah, of course. He loves the shades. And Ido. True. Ido got a new team, did you see? Yes! Oh, what's their name again? CG or something? Yeah, they do Call of Duty usually. Now what? Call of Duty? Did you know that before? Absolutely not. Yeah. I did my research, you know? I have no idea what's going on in the Call of Duty scene. It's got to be a big. lot. They have like an Overwatch League, right? Like, obviously, it's called Call of Duty League, but something similar. Not Switch as big. Yeah. It's pretty difficult though. Like, how do you keep a stable esports scene when there's a new Call of Duty coming out every year? Uh, maybe it's like FIFA. Everyone's just using the new version. But aren't they like different? Quite different in their uh, specificity? Like Black Ops and I Warfare never and... played a Call of Duty after two, so I'm kind of out. Damn, dude, we're such boomers. I don't really like these kind of shooters, like Battlefield and Call of Duty. I never hit anything. I don't know why. Once upon a time, I used to play a lot of CS 1.6, but uh, beyond that, I'm also no. FPS player. So we're creeping up the map here. No expansion yet. Side is fitting one more Frostworm into his army. And then we're gonna be at 50. Is it time to fight then? We have 3 upgrades for the Gargs. Dryads on 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh boy. That can hurt. <laughs> There's one Dryad in the main. Almost one tapped. Oh shit. This is not gonna be good. Hunter again, 1,200 gold. And normally Cloak of Flames on the Demon Hunter is so nice. But against Gargs and Worms, it is of no use. Hunter's got a yeah, lot of cash saved up here in the piggy bank. Well, uh, I guess pretty good for him that he can replace all these dryads and bears pretty easily. How much gold is Gargs again nowadays? 175, right? Mm -hmm. town is dryads insane. are 160, so... They are pretty expensive for what they do. Both units, actually. I think dryads are especially supply heavy, right? Like, three supply? Yeah, and they give so much experience. They can die rather quick. 
Reveal sees the shade. That one died rather quick also. Side getting a bit more experience here, not really getting close to any level up. Ah, oh, the level 4 is not too far away. We know what that means, boys, don't we? Mm, dark Ritual. Dark Ritual, hey, yeah. And plus 4 intelligence. <gasps> Baby. Hunter finally getting upgrades. He's got the Shredder, I like that. Going mass upgrades. But he's far behind. Oh, and that Shredder, of course, can also die pretty quick. Oh, quick reaction by Hunter. Wow. Pulled them away immediately from the Gargs. You don't want to lose that one. Oh. Obnoxious style to play against. As yes. Well. So both sit on no, <coughs> no upkeep. Getting some upgrades in. Checking for expansions on the other side. So what do we have on upgrades now? Zero one coming. And getting ready for the 70 supply push. A under oh, attack. worm almost one shot the shredder. Okay, bye bye lumber. I can buy a new one, I guess. TP for shredder. That's uh, almost exactly even in gold. Okay, I guess it's time to break upkeep and to break hunter soon to go for these sweet three points as we see the second worm and oh, nothing in the crypt. He goes back to 50. Now starts it again. Oop, maybe misclick. A town is under siege. And again, we're chasing after the shredder. And even if he doesn't get the kill, the cool thing is the Shredder isn't harvesting lumber for a long time. And this results in the Dryad still being very under upgraded. Is that a word? I don't know. <laughs> 01 against 3 2 upgrades. Hallelujah. That's so sick. They have so much value now for their cost. Okay, expansion by side in the bottom <laughs> right. Yep. Is he actually gonna try to defend there, or is this just like a cheeky little? A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. If it oh, works, why not? Oh, what? Could have committed right there. Could have killed it. You think Hunter's having fun? Yeah, a lot. As much fun as Lotto? As much. <laughs> you having fun? I'm having fun. <laughs> you having fun now? <laughs> oh, these hurt these gargs. A player's forces are under attack. <laughs> oh man, if this expo works. If he keeps him busy on the left-hand side, why would he ever go there and scout? Alright, at least he takes out the Shady with the dust. <laughs> okay, finished now! <laughs> Sight must be sitting there like, Mon Dieu! It's actually <laughs> working! Uh, Mon Dieu also has three heal scrolls and a protection. A well-timed protection scroll is actually really good against Riots. They can oftentimes focus, uh, mess up their focus fire because they're mass dispelling. Mm. And this expansion is actually working apparently. We'd love to have player vision now and just follow Hunter around. He's finally got good lumber. He's finally got good upgrades. Dude, suddenly he caught up pretty well. He's gonna be at 2 2 here very soon. He still has 2,000 gold to spend. 
Saving it for the next game, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna see it now. Uh -oh. Demon at the expansion. The jig is up, boys. <laughs> so, how many bears does he have? Two. Okay, but DK, two worms are here. Looking good. Let's hit the shop again. A player's In wall to play attack. it safe. Nice save on the shredder with the staff. I kind of start to think that upkeep is overrated. It's like 500 gold now. That's it. And side is on low upkeep for quite some time. Oh, zappers. Did the shade see the zappers? I don't I don't think he did, but I mean there's heroes and worms protecting this expo. Alrighty. He needs this. Yeah. Oh my. This cannot work, can it? Side. Come on. Oh. Okay. It's the second one. But nothing really hit the expo. It was just a tower that was in construction. And here comes the rest of the gargs. Oh no, but a split second before it detonates. Yeah, this is Hunter banking for a long, 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 long time, then getting attacked and then getting smashed. This is very reminiscent of game one. I kind of seen this movie before. Demon Hunter needs to TP out here to save his life. And he does. But I'm not sure he can save this game anymore. Side lost some units, but so easy now for him to reproduce those. He's expanding again on the hill. <laughs> and Hunter is out of income. I don't want to say out of cash because he still has 1,200 gold coins. But lumber is still very low. Dryads cost a lot of lumber, by the way. 60 oh, lumber a pop. Main gold mines expired. Hunter is out of gold. Mining. Okay, this is a perfect position for these gargs. One down, the bears disappear against all the spells and the worms. There is no chance in hell for our Peruvian friend. Celebratory stone form right there. That is GG. Well played. Two oversight. Three points for Oceanus Gaming. Six and three now. That means they're two points away from... The grand final. Two maps in two series is all they take. Yeah, they need to take. And then they got it. Looking very good. Very, 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 very good for Oceanus. The next match is either Spiral versus a Long Walk or Neutron versus Boo. And that could be the, de the decision already. Dust not making a back to back final. Losing the first clan war of the season. And Ocean is going into a grand final again. The answers are pretty close. We're going to be right back after a break. <laughs> Here we go. Maybe the last match of the day as we have a Neutron versus Boo. 6-3 to three in favor of Ocean is Gaming. And Neutron goes into this as the favorite. Old school Boo. Nice to see him return to the scene. But how strong is he? We can't really tell. We haven't seen many games. Of his and Neutron, one of the strongest night elves in all of Europe. So, Dust needs a miracle. Absolutely. Thank you. Did we already thank Werewolf King? No, we didn't. Thank you very much for your 27 month reset. Thank you. Starting off with a ghoul build, here is Boo. Ghouls and what hero is the question? For Neutron, we have Keeper. I would have known that. He always plays Keeper against Undead. One of the few Night Elves who still does, who still believes in the Keeper of the Grove and the magic of Entangle. And the other side, Dread Lordy! Okay. Things are starting to get interesting. That's pretty cool. So that has normally to mean either expansion or... Some kind of crazy push. Yep. A 
players forces are under this is not a very ex easy expansion map though this is not an easy expansion map at all ghoul checks out the main is neutron gonna make sure to look for the second hero normally most undeads when you see a ghoul but it's always dk like whether it's ghoul build or not it's always dk but here it's not earlier the favorite for dust hitman did not do enough scouting that became a big problem against kiwi kaki is neutron gonna fall into the same trap or is he going to play it safe? It's a trap! Thank you very much, Todd, for the big host. Hope you're doing well. And uh, the recovery is speeding up. All right. Thank you, man. Keeper getting close to level 2. Close of attack. Pretty nice. And he is scouting for that hero on both creep spots that are possible. And he sees... Okay. It is the Lord of the Dread. Expansion versus <laughs> Keeper, though. Isn't that pretty hard? Yeah, he's going north right away with a keeper should be bringing more wisps as well i think there's two around in the north but i do think should be bringing more against skeletons against blight against sleep keeper makes a pit stop to secure level two this is a bit of mana on the treants but it should be fine and he's actually doing it not tacking double engine of war who Mess knows? No fear. That that nade could be sick, though. It could be dispelling the sleep and the skeletons at the same time. <laughs> Look at oh, sleeps the wisp. Wakes up the wisp. Oh <laughs> my god, that was a big detonate. Yep. And the ghoul is falling. And that was the last sleep. He needs to get something done here. Detonate against the skeletons again. That opens up the surround. Disaster. Yep. Big creep still alive. Expo cancelled. Ghouls dying. <sighs> Boo. Put a lot on the line here. Was hoping this fast expansion would work out, but good counterplay by Neutron. He was ready for this. Yep. And now we get a graveyard. We have a tech. Boo switching gears. Oh, and now he's on. He's stuck on Dreadlord without mana. That does not feel good. Nope. Neutron is, like, kind of committed to this mass hunt play, though. A player's forces are under attack. Oh, yeah, true. He's not scouting the main anymore. When he sees it, he will have, or he certainly should, be starting the tech. Oh, there's another juicy detonate right there. Oh, my God. Oh! Only got one of the skeletons instead of four. That was a little sloppy by Neutron. And detonated his own entangle as yeah. well, so he didn't get the ghoul. O o overconfidence rising. Yeah, that wasn't very good, but uh, okay. So he got an expansion himself in the bottom right of the map. I mean, we have seen Keeper Mass Archer's Bead Undead before. That was 1.30 though. I'll never forget that. Where, like, across two weeks, Moon was playing Keeper Archers every game. Didn't <laughs> matter against which race. Just one every time. With yeah, that was sick, man. That was just... A clear sign. That it's pretty OP. Ah, Keeper was pretty good. And here he's also looking quite good. Oh, another Wisp that night coming in. Huh? Again, didn't lead to that much. But the keeper waiting in the wings with the hunts. And every entangle leads to a kill. Man, Boo is not being given anything for free this game. Nope. This uh, looks like it's pretty important for Neutron. Oh, surround on the hunt. That was nice. But does he even have the damage? Yeah, he's gonna get 100 at least. Is that a level up maybe? Not quite. Did he deny that? I don't know. I think he did. That's level 3 for the keeper. So, oh. There's no units to surround. Yeah. I mean, he gets us around. Not bad, but he can't hold it. That's all time for the expansion. Plus the tech. DK coming, rush to tier 3. 
Still no fiends, just ghouls so far. Slaughterhouse coming up as well. And the turn even steals the overseer here, perhaps towards the end. With the entangle, that should be doable. And I can go for Telly Staff. Sip, sip from the moon wells and creep the expansion, I guess. Looks like a pretty easy game. But Boo is fighting for that one point. But one point wouldn't even be enough. He needs to win the series to keep Dust in the race. Going for a Shredder now. Ooh, that's a lot of gold not going into army. Undead using a Shredder. That is something I haven't seen in a long time. Yeah. Like, in theory, it should work out the best for Undead because... You can bring all the ghouls and then you don't need any other lumber workers to make buildings. Whereas with Night Elf and stuff, you can have Shredder on lumber, but you still need Twists on lumber because you need to make buildings, you know. But uh, it's not like that's very relevant. What's relevant here is the timing of the mid-game. Neutron is securing this expansion with the Alchemist second. Finds the ring! That's actually quite nice for the big boy. There is still no dispel against this keeper and the entangle. Yeah, that is quite problematic, isn't it? Alchemist second, damage rising. We go into more arches. Oh, nicely. Keeps the keeper at bay. Nice acid bomb, does damage to all the ghouls. Oh, wait, can you snipe this tree of life, maybe? No nature's blessing, oh. right? A player's force. Nope. Oh, if he gets this, it would be grand. Just the keeper staff. Alchemist is in. How much damage can he do? There is a TP. There is a big potion. He's using the wisps again. Tree and strength to hold this. Oh, a little uh, bit of repair. But is it enough? Oh, boo. Oh, so desperate. No. But he's losing everything. That oh, could have been the play. Oh, he doesn't get it. No one blames him for trying. 100 HP, even less than that. Wait, there's he's a potion gonna, on the he's DK. Gonna get it. He's gonna get it. All right. Ooh, okay. Man, that was not cheap, though. <laughs> no. But okay. Under tier 3. Boneyard. Boneyard. And, and A-bombs. What? What part of Boneyard and A-Bombs did you not understand? Yeah, I guess it's pretty obvious, huh? <laughs> I can see it right here. Um, Alright. Alright. I mean, A-Bombs with the disease cloud are certainly very nice against Night Elf. He's gonna have all the lumber in the world here soon with his Shredder. But Fiends, like, historically Fiends are also not bad. But okay, we'll see how this goes. Which I'm pulling out the red camp. Uh, that's uh, not sure he's gonna get this around. Oh, I guess he does. Got it. How do you doubt him? Well, I've seen him trying to surround before. Oh, Bedlord is coming in. Got it. He's. Did he get it? Yep. With the right click, that's pretty. No, with the carrion swarm. Uh, kind of not looking there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, good. Mana post on the Dreadlord. The item went to the Alchemist, which is kind of yeah, not really relevant, I guess. Yeah. It's gonna be a super surprise to see these worms. Which one still goes bears? It's not trying to re expand. Trump doesn't have that much anti here. He's got one dryad with four archers. No lich though for Boo. No orb. No fiends. 
Well, uh, frostworms are kind of little novas. So, you know, got that. It's also good damage. Can't carry orbs, though. That might be an issue. Yeah. Can't cast frost armor either. Ah. Next patch, maybe. All right, uh, Zeppelin harass. Gonna try to buy a bit of time here. And Neutron did not re-expand. <laughs> I think he should have re-expanded instantly when Pawn was steeping up. But maybe mm -hmm. Lumber was a little too low. He is giving Boo quite some time for this army. It's kind of fascinating that we have abominations and. Frostworm and he's at 38 supply. Like, what's in this Zeppelin? Okay, only two heroes. And he gets it again. Yeah, the shade scouted that. Oh, I need to cancel! Oh my god, that was awesome. That was not so much resources returned either, by the way. But it is resources being soaked up on the map via creeps. Alchemist at the fountain. Gonna claim the next big item. Lots of good ones here to be found. Flute is actually pretty good. Yes. So, Neutron stops at 50. Disease Cloud is ready. Soon to be 50 50. Supply wise. And Boo continues to being annoying. Finally, orb on the keeper that increases his damage by a lot. It's a pretty big experience lead here for Neutron, right? Alchemist creeping up even more in the middle, getting to five and a half or something like that. About six hundred. Crazy freaking boo. Three A bombs, two worms. I've never seen such an army. A player's forces I mean. Yeah? I mean, he's got a lot of magic damage against the bears. Yep. He's got a lot of stinky damage against everything. Yep. Maybe this can work. Oh, his hero's getting... Oh no. Oh, that's that's Ivy. Yeah, that's Daphne. That, uh... That was a little late, man. That was a little late, indeed. Well, Agent it was only war. the second hero. Well, the entire way north is gonna mark his territory up here. Is How do trees do that? They're, they grow their roots over the whole place. You uh -huh. see? Put the roots in the ground. A player's force My base now. <laughs> Upgrade coming, more dryads. Is it time to fight already? It is definitely time to break upkeep for Boo. And for Neutron with a shredder once again. Could definitely use some more upgrades. Like Wellspring, for example. Thank you, Abstract, for the sub! Thank you. So, Nudra has seen the worms, right? There is a Wisp here. He should. Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, Ancient of War just got killed as well. And is now seeing also the Expo. A town is under siege. TK back. Next. Worm. But counter expansion. Okay. He tries us to wait apparently a little bit for his reinforcements. It's not gonna be easy to kill targets here. Everything's super tanky. Worms, A bombs, a lot of health. But there's no dispel, so 
Entangle focus fire can work. So destroy upgrade only now. But also only one statue. Mm -hmm. Against keeper, you want to have like two statues, two destroyers. Oh, Hunter's putting pressure on this. There's no tower and upgrade. I like that. Oh, yeah. Is that enough damage? Might just be barely enough. Oh, man, it's going to be pretty close. Ah, here come the worms, though. And expansion saved, all right. But main exposed. And we're going for the Black Citadel. TP, oh no, it's a stat, right? Cancel as well. Not falling for this trap. Neutron committing hard to this kill. Could turn into an overcommitment here, possibly. One bear in a lot of trouble. Second bear as well, but the double staff was there. Gets the Black Citadel. Alchemist will certainly survive if he's tanky enough. Wow. And actually, no unit oh, lost. Oh, and he zappered the haunted gold oh, mine. The Night Elf Zapper. How could we forget? Yep. Oh, wow. Okay, that was definitely worth it. That is pretty bad for Boo. He's about to have 3 0 upgrades as well here, Neutron. Yeah. Oh, boy. Whew. That's going to be a fierce attack. There's a lot of triads. Couple of bears, I like that mix. What can Boo do? Once again, he's trying to get up an expansion. This time he's defending with everything, but he finds himself at a big supply deficit. Neutron buys the TP just to be safe, just in case. I like that. But there's going to be two Spirit Towers up here at the expansion. That's quite a bit more damage. Okay. Can you lure him out, maybe? The Shredder is down instantly. Dreadlord far away from level 5. That would be a changer, but DK gets level 3 soon. And that's pretty good for the Worms. But oh my lord, oh my this God. concave. The Worms just disappear. Oh. Oh my. Swat that Worm. They look like gargoyles! They're dead so fast. And we go for the A-bombs right after. Nice heal spray over the top. These drives are looking juicy. Double level fives for Neutron, much better hero level. The DK under threat. The DK is dead. GG well played. 1-0 for Neutron and one point away for Ocean. Exactly. Every game that we see here from now on until the end of the broadcast is match points for Ocean is not rough, uh, not not easy, man. Neutron played this pretty calm, collected, nice, never overstepping. Really, it was good. Man, that is so tough now. Yeah, Boo has yeah. to win two maps in a row, and Long Walk has to two o spiral to still do this. We were. Predicting at the beginning of this clan war well, without Cruncher, it was going to be hard, and we see just how hard it is. Neutron could close it all out right now. Would be a 9 to 3? Yeah, 9 to 3 then. Oh my lordy. Ay, 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 ay. And after two wins. In a row for Dust would be the first time they get defeated by Oceanus in W3IL. Also, the first loss of the entire league for Dust. Very, uh, yeah, not, not the greatest timing for that first loss. Dude, I just thought I got the fly and then I noticed there's a second one. Do you have like rotten food in your No No Do you smell? Well, I mean Did you shit in a corner? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. That is Jesus Christ, dude? Yeah. You were making children jokes and you uh insulted the glorious region of Saxony 
And that is Jesus, dude. No, 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 no. So I think we're going back to Europe host now. Is that correct? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Very unusual style that Boo showed here. Of course, it all fell apart quite early, didn't it? The Red Lord Fast expansion did not turn into any kind of expansion. Well, I guess he did have it standing at some point in the late game, but then the Zapper. Those Zappers. Why are the Night Elves by far the best at utilizing the Zappers, by the That's way? That's a question, right? Because, like, can they always afford this? And for they... once, it's not Moon, usually, who does the Zapper play all the time. It's Foggy. Yeah. Yeah, Foggy was the innovator here, for sure. Yeah, I, I remember this know. one crazy base race on Amazonia, where there was no mining anymore. Nobody could get any money anymore. And Foggy has like 450 gold. And what does he do with the last bit of his money? Two zappers. <laughs> Crazy boy. Okay, it does look like Eurohost indeed. Man, just keeps going from bad to worse. Now Boo has to win. With an inferior ping as well. But this is where heroes are born. <laughs> where legends are forged. All right, then. Amazonia it is. Well, fast expansion was already tough, unconcealed. But I would imagine on this map, it's utterly impossible for undead. I would kind of speculate on a ghoul rush to be honest on this map could be an idea yeah against keeper though rough to pull off but maybe that's his best bet hope that neutron misplays a little bit i guess that that's kind of honestly what he has to Hope for regardless of the strategy that we're going to see. Yeah. Yeah. Hope, thoughts, prayers, luck. He needs everything. And we go in to map number two. The first match point for Oceanus Gaming. Is this clan war? This evening really going to end so fast. With a 9 to 3, this is where it could stop already. Oh, we're going to still get to see the last game. Long Walk versus Spiral. Boo's going to have to play out of his mind right here. Yeah, that's true. We uh, will have more Clan War action on Sunday. With... W3IL semi-final of Sweden versus UMAT Gaming. And we got a little bit of a re-host. Neutron gives him an A-host. Alright. Interesting. Can he decline this now? And force Neutron to play on this ping? I guess he could. Maybe, but dude, that would be pretty scummy. Yeah, we don't do that here. Nah, we're all friends. We're all having a good time. Enjoying some Warcraft. I wonder in what mood Bidu is going to be later tonight when they start Dust League. Group A tonight at 2 a.m. Yeah. Not the greatest. Probably. I mean, top four is not bad, man. It's not bad. Maybe top three? There's going to be a game for third? Is there? According to the grid, there is. Huh. Game up. Dust. Yeah, cool fair play.
All right, we have the players in. About to be ready. We are ready indeed. Just waiting for the go, 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 go. But some ops are missing. All right, go, go. Okay, let's try this again on an A host. Better ping for Neutron, apparently. Which is really weird. But he lives far in the east of Russia, as far as we know, right? So, routing is a little different there. Goliath's task for Boo. Can he do it? This would be a crazy story. Can he turn himself into a hero? Or is the dwarf this time not going to be able to bring the giant to his knees? Okay then. Neutron bottom left for him. It's kind of easy. If he loses this one, he still has a shot of finishing the clan war in game two. And even if he loses that, that might feel a little weird for himself and a little bad. But... He can hope that Spiral gets one map. So, very, very comfortable. Once again, a little uh, shit chat in the early stages. And Boo, what do you do? Mm, interesting uh, base build. How do yeah. you like that uh, Feng Shui wise? Huh? Huh? Well, I've never seen it like that before. It was kind of. Kind of weird. I guess it's the the square formation. Everything next to each other, kind of a rectangle. Uh, yeah. Can't say I'm the biggest fan. We're gonna see a keeper again from neutron side. No surprise here. And ghouls with this time a DK. No dreadlord anymore on this map. You certainly can't expand. Concealed already. Was a bold attempt, but here it's impossible. But the keeper likes this map. Quick level two, if you don't Please mess up the creep, attack. which honestly on 200 ping, it's not that easy to do. Oh, but perfect lightning shield by Neutron. Yes. Well, I could have done it perfectly. <laughs> not quite. Yeah, level 3 creeper out here for the keeper, not hard at all. You get the first two camps right away with the Ancient of War. Then Kobolds into Murlocs. Boom! That's level 3 right there. And then the strength of level 2 Entangle can be a nightmare to your opponent, as we have seen it so many times before. Are under attack. I like that Neutron has his eyes everywhere on the map. Scouts with this one now. It's okay, it's just one... It's attack. I don't have to be afraid of a ghoul rush at this point. And he will scout if there's mercenary camp. Being crap with ghouls, that's easy to do. Yeah. Very nice uh, vision here across the map. Whoa! That's a very fast tech for Boo. One ziggurat only. That is super quick. He's going to limit his production here for a long time. He's going to be stuck on five ghouls for quite a while. And the Keeper is not going for the normal level three creep route with the kobolds. But rather first to the trolls, which are easier to creep, I suppose. And a one archer expo. Well, two archers. Actually, two archer expo. Good old 1.30 style. Interesting that he thinks he can get away with this, but he saw the build, so he knows that there's not be a mass of ghouls, so why not try? Delays his tech, for sure, that's maybe not the greatest. But also, it's gonna take Boo a while to build an army, so how to push it then? Yeah, normally against this Keeper Expo play nowadays, at least, you know, the top undeads are like happy. 
we see no attempts really of cancelling, but just harassing, delaying, like DK and Skeletons being annoying, Lich coming in with the Nova, making the creeping a bit hard, Quite. and then coming in with the Destroyer timing. But Destroyer Fiends, apparently not so much boost attack. thing, at least if game one was an indicator. No, it is double crypt instead, yeah. and we're gonna have Gargoyles. That's... Uh... Okay. Didn't expect that, really. Interesting build. He continued to make some ghouls. We have a somewhat, like, army to work with. But Neutron finds him with hunts. With Entangle, there should be some pretty easy kills. One ghoul down already. Aiming for the second one. DK has coils to use, but the Keeper has more Entangles. And there are coils. And the ghoul goes down. Oh, and he reaches the third one as well with the Entangle. This one, perhaps he can't kill. Well, it depends on how much mana he wants to commit, I guess. Oh, let's it. Live. Oh. oh, the coil misses to make matters worse. The strange case, six. Thank you for the sub. Boom, with a sacrificial pit early on tier two, along with the gargoyles. Alrighty, second engine of war for Neutron as well. Expo up, eats his way through, and then it's time to creep soon. Can, like, how good is Boo with the Garks? Can he take out the Wisps? That could create an imbalance of races, uh, of, of, of races, of resources. So that this expansion doesn't really do too much. But on the other side, artists are pretty cheap in lumber, so. Nice dead night. FK, thank you for the 27 month resub. Nice! It really is nice because he's FK69. You like that? Nah, it's pretty nice. AP coming up in a pretty cool position here between the two bases. Oh, but this creepjack could hurt for Neutron, maybe. Suddenly there's four gargs in the mix. And the archers can't gun them down too easily at all. They don't have improved bows yet. Oh man, their range is severely limited. And suddenly, who has an opening? All right. Even an AP here, interestingly, by Neutron. Um, the hunts are taking out this camp. Pretty easy. Ensnare is helping. But can he st steal the big one? Damage is very limited on the tree. I don't think that's going to be an issue. It's all about that rock golem now. Here comes the reveal, the DK is nice. caught! And yes, Good. Staff out. Good damage control. Uh, four keeper already, oh my god. Yeah, that, that is seven minutes, so level four. <laughs> Wait, are all gargs gone? In the main right now, harassing the entangled. Oh, okay. You see the blue dot somewhere. Mm. Oh, Boo was very supply stuck there for some time. Now coming up with three ziggurats. Yeah, that's the thing about Garks. You want them fast and you want the them in masses. Yeah. This timing not working out so well. And once the Alchemist joins the party, things are going to get even harder. And it should be any second now. Maybe even Panda could be nice. Double mantle, also really good for any kind of second hero. Alchemist it is. Who was in so much trouble? He's out leveled. He's out mined. Uh, okay, waiting for the tier 3 tech, but that's not happening yet. Yeah, he doesn't really have any advantages to speak of, unfortunately. Pushing now already? into the enemy expo. Bring the ghouls, bring the gargs, he's pretty much bringing everything. But the sad truth is, it's not that much. Yeah. Uh, ghouls help, but there's a lot of wisp to detonate against the skeletons. Even a TP home. Did he get the rock golem here? Oh yes, he did. Great mana potion. Oh, shit. Very aggressive with the TP. Easily gets one ghoul right there. I don't know what can stop Neutron at this point. Dreadlord second. Well, 
he seems to have a thing for that hero. Just like you. Absolutely. He's gorgeous. A player's I like that big attack. bug that it's destroying the meta. It's ugly. Beautiful, beautiful bug, beautiful meta. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. The bug is beautiful. The necros are the problem. <laughs> I'm serious. Necros always were a problem throughout the history of Warcraft. No, but now they are. Yeah, I mean, they were useless, so that was the problem. Yeah. All right. A anyway, big fight, but no damage by Boo. And uh, this Karen Swarm level one, yeah? I, like, you know, I'm a big fan of that Dreadlord, yeah? But Karen yeah. Swarm level one, yeah? It's <laughs> yeah. kind of not the best spell I've ever uh, seen, yeah? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> oh, man. People must be so annoyed. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You don't think, yeah? I think okay. it's tolerable, yeah? We, we should stop. We should stop. <sighs> Tier 3 In the name Shredder. Of love. <laughs> 60 supply. <laughs> Neutron's got it all. <laughs> Whilst Boo doesn't even have level 3. But, seems like this time his dream of an expansion. Might be coming true. However, it's just been revealed from the laboratory. Whenever I say laboratory, I feel so sophisticated. Yeah, like a true man. English, like a true oh, Englishman. Oh, the that's laboratory. something Shakespeare would the, say. The laboratory. <laughs> right, tower is up though. And it's oh, not that easy to break oh, them. This is the point. perfect target for zappers, by the way. Oh, this is so juice, juice. Ah, yep. who uses zappers these days? All the night elves. I was being. Okay! We do this again with a couple of ghouls and tower support. Boo stemming against the elimination of dust. But Neutron seems to be just like, toying with his prey so far. Entangle on the Dreadlord. Almost surround, not quite, but still a lot of damage. And he's still dead. Yeah, no he can mana. finally get level 3 here. Level 2 coil helps. But does it help enough? And what's Neutron going for? He can make any kind of army he wants now. Marksmanship and Archer attack upgrade. That should tell you something. Could see him going now into Mad Slaves, dude. It's Neutron after all. <laughs> well, upgrades uh, do fit. Why not? More and more acolytes here are getting killed as well, so the repair is extremely limited. Yeah, this expansion doesn't pay off yet, and getting these acolytes onto the expansion is pretty rough, as Neutron is just uh, oh, occupying this attack. position. Wobble Two. blades! Let's do it! No way you're right! <laughs> Third engine of war as well. Third attack upgrade as well. Come on, pot him third. Let's do it. He has all the gold. He doesn't... He's unwilling to break upkeep in this two base, two base. How do you say laboratory in German? Labor. Labor, yes. Labor. When I was a kid, I was, was very confused about the dog species, uh, Labradors. I thought it had something to do with laboratories. <laughs> They're just really smart and <laughs> just doing research but of course, on something. That's not true. So, where does the name Labrador come from? What do I know? Probably involving some kind of door. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Dude, how is it that pretty much every single player of this clan war is hoarding gold? Neutron at 1.7k. Need to get ready for that quad engine of war. Glaive production, man. Yeah. Nature's Blessing, Wellspring. 
remember that game where Hawk went for 100% tech tree? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, who was that against? Uh, I don't know, some, some kind of early rounds, right? I think it was an Aussie. Not too sure though. Oh, creep jack opportunity here. A little damage on the DK though. Uh, actually, you know what? Not even that bad. Who gets another kill on this archer? There we go, Glaives. Uh, yep. Quad Glaives. Yep. This is some sick production. And Potom is coming as well. Oh, I know my boy Yuri. He loves damage just like I do. <laughs> XD. <laughs> okay, TP out. Got oh my god, he found the war song. Oh shit. Is well, that why he smiled? Nice. Maybe. Oh my god, look at this damage. Oh my, oh my god, look at this damage. <laughs> this is gonna be 132 max damage on the glaives. That's a lot. A player's <laughs> Pretty crazy, dude. The damage range on glaives also is insane. Yep, 48 to 116. By the way, so, the dog name comes from the town in Canada. There's a town called Labrador, apparently. All right, gargoyles deal with glaive throwers pretty easily, though. Little fight for the keeper. New entangle has better range. Doesn't even need it. It's just so much damage. <laughs> Alright then. Huh? Let's go towards those towers, I guess. Yeah. Let's Not tear down the base. Not even that many glaives though. Neutron, what the hell? Only three glaives? He counters with Quad Crypt? Hell yeah. Let's do it. Oh, Labrador is a region, not a town. Good to know, good to know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what can stop Neutron with a 30 supply lead and crazy glaive damage? Man. Oh, <laughs> so sick. That's just too much damage, dude. Yeah. This is just too much deeps. Speaking of glass cannons. Wagon is doing some good damage against it. Oh, Micros is back nicely. But that only works for so long. Oh my god. What a demolition. He's so controlling this game. For such a long time. DK dead. That's it, GG! Well played! The run of Dust Gaming is over and Oceanus is in the grand final of W3IL Season 3! Well played here by Oceanus. Didn't start off well for the Dust Boys. Hitman couldn't deliver the way the Americans were hoping in the 2v2 didn't go perfectly either. Dust Gaming here very convincingly, 9-3, to stepping into the next grand finals. Yeah, uh, that is, I thought it would be closer, obviously, but Cruncher not playing, hit dust hard, and Hitman today wasn't able to carry as he usually does, so that's how you end up against Oceanus Gaming, deserved in the finals, I guess, Kiwi taking maps of, of Hitman, yeah, that broke them. And we will see Oceanus next Sunday in the Grand Final against either Team Sweden or UMAD. So, Sunday next week, not yes. next Sunday. Next Sunday, this Sunday, is going to be our second semifinal. That is absolutely correct, as I just said. We The next broadcast, by the way, is not going to be by us, but by the Dust Boys themselves. Bidu and Carson bring you Dust League Season 5, and we got some cool games there. Wait a minute, that is in wait, three hours around. We got Group A here today, and Group A is pretty interesting. Um, 
as Cruncher is playing, apparently. Uh, okay, against Fish, Pride and Duke are in as well. S Tomorrow we got Insub vs. Remind and Boo and Flame. Next week, Ooh. Friday, Hitman, Physics, Seiso, Kiwi, and Ark, Raven, Hunter, and RSM in Group D. Pretty cool Dust League. Looking forward to that. Will Hitman reign over there? We'll see. Make sure to tune in if you can't sleep or if you're from the American time zones. Three hours, Dust League, more Warcraft here with great casters, Bidu and Carson. So much uptime over the weekend, Neo. It's wonderful. Absolutely. We are back tomorrow as well. Yeah. With Yule Cup. Yule Cup quarterfinals. Absolutely. Correct. <laughs> and after that, we're going to have the BTW Weekly Cup as well. Yeah, so about that, um, we are lacking admins at the moment like crazy. Ah, yeah. So true. at the moment, we don't have an admin for tomorrow. We might have to cancel the B2W Cup if no one comes forward and helps out. So if you want to help us, uh, reach out to me, reach out to New Hero or Lino or whoever. Um, that would be nice so we don't have to cancel the Cup because we really don't want that, but need help for that. Okay, then off to bed now, Remo. Dinner and then bed. Yeah. What How you about have? you? When are you going to bed? <laughs> Probably at around... 9 a.m. this morning. <laughs> oh, great. I woke up at 6 p.m. tonight, today. What? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, th my sleep schedule is a little fucked. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. I hope you're going to wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow, though. I will, because I'm super hyped for Yule Cup. Dude, Yule Cup is actually going to be sick. What games do we have? We're going to have Lawlight versus Ice Orc. Oh. 15th Sway versus 120. Oh. Lingua versus Fly. Oh. And TH versus Fortitude. Oh. That is looking good indeed. Starting at 1 p.m. So lots of content here on this channel. Just follow. And then you get notifications. Follow us also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, that's our socials. Join our Discord. And subscribe on YouTube. That's all easy ways to help us out to make this channel even bigger. Until then, adios. Good night. <laughs>